All right, and here we are, everybody. So welcome. We're going to be going ahead and doing something I've talked about playing for quite a while, but have never gotten around to it. Castlevania 64. I should mention, though, that there are actually two Castlevania 64s. The second one's called Legacy of Darkness, and I originally thought that was like some kind of like director's cut or special edition. But from what I understand, it has its own story and is kind of like kind of like a 1.5 sequel in a weird way. And I've been told that you get the full experience by playing both. So we're just going to play regular Castlevania 64 first. Oh, that was a bit of a mouthful here. There we go. All set up. Ooh. Just the volume. I wanted to do something spooky like this. Plus, I've just kind of been in the mood for some old N uh, N64 games. Look at that. Ooh. This is one of those games that I hear a lot of people say do that they don't like it, but I want to finally play it for myself and see how it is. Same with the PS2 3D ones. Mm-hmm. I have no idea who that is. All right. That's a cool title screen. This game came out in 99, it seems. Get that there. All right. Game start. I recognize that paper slip noise. I feel like Resident Evil games used it a lot around this time. Move this here. So I don't know the difference between easy and normal. I'll just assume normal is okay. And there's two characters to choose from. Reinhardt and Carrie. We're just going to play as Reinhardt since he's probably the whip user. And definitely try the other character after two. I don't know how different each two are. They're probably different cutscenes and story. Transylvania in the mid 19th century. Is that Richter's voice? Of Wallachia. Hang on, turn it up. In this time of peace and plenty, no one foresees Ooh. the return of ancient horrors. But the old legends live, and soon the land will again be plunged into darkness. Oh dear. The people have returned to the path of wickedness, and the bonds that seal their evil ruler's spirit are weakening. Reinhard Schneider. Uh, to the ancient you, you skipped a uh, you skipped a paragraph there, bro. His blood dooms him to oppose the might of Count Dracula, wielding the holy whip of his ancestors. The young vampire killer begins his quest. I didn't imagine that, right? He did just skip uh, a couple lines there in the middle. Weird. That well, should be okay. Let me know how the audio is. I had to turn it up a bit because the uh, the voice acting was low. Courage. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. <laughs> Forest of silence. Okay. Be his whip. Hang on a second. Alright. I have nothing. Option. Yeah, will this show me what I can do? Move, jump, attack, attack two. Collect items. Wait. A, a button for collecting items is right C. Change camera. Item attack. No use. Lock on and crouch. All right, that should be fine. Still kind of low. I can turn it up some more. Hang on. It was re really better during the title screen, wasn't it? Yeah, anyways. Let's go have a look over here for some good friends. That tree fell. That crap was probably really impressive for the time, though. Hang on. Okay, I gotta... So I'm guessing the jewels are like my hearts, because they're below the black box. Got a knife. Okay. All right, I have to hold down the A button in order to climb. Roast beef. I guess that's in my inventory now as like an item. Let me double check that. Yeah, it is. 
The jewels get immediately added to my counter, though. Yeah, the model animation looks nice. This was the first 3D Castlevania, for sure. He has breathed his last. A local villager. Not the skeletons. Hold up. I'm gonna move chat a little bit while this cutscene plays. Don't attack me yet, Mr. Skelly. They're coming! In a timeline? I'm pretty sure this isn't on the timeline. Oh. Ah! They're coming for me! Hold up. Action view. What does that mean? Does it mean I'll focus on the enemies more? Battle view. I don't know what any of that really means. Okay. Oh, come on. Power up. All right, I took him out. Uh, hang a second. Okay, power up isn't something I use. It seems like I just get something. I'm assuming my whip got upgraded by picking that up. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Well, I'm not in battle right now, so I should put it back to normal view. Oh, dear. Oh, I recognize this music. This is from Circle of the Moon. Or I suppose uh, Circle of the Moon gets it from here. Okay. Hold up. Does money disappear? I should probably get this. 300 gold. Nice. I don't think throwing things is going to do much to him. Yeah, that barely did anything. Stuck on boss view now. Okay. Can't unfocus from the boss. I guess I have to deal with it. I don't know if those skeletons over there dropped anything. Oh, nice. I guess I better save these jewels for when I really need them. All right. Pop you. It's becoming morning as we approach the castle, I guess. You're invincible. You're leading me forward like a cutscene. So I just hit him a few times and he backs up. Or runs forward again. No hearts, just red jewels. I wonder if it was easier to make a jewel shape than a heart shape, and that's why they're jewels here. Bloodlines used jewels, but they were like blue. Knife. Okay. There we go. He's screeching! That is one big skelly indeed. Teddy Ursa should be playing around this castle. Um, I don't know if that's a bottomless pit, because I can't really adjust the camera. So let's just... I'm assuming I don't want to fall down, though. All right. Give me your money. 300 gold. I don't know what I need gold for first, but... May as well pick it up. It could either be useful or useless, like in Harmony of Dissonance, where you almost never want to go to a shop. There's a white jewel. Will you save up to this point? Okay, the white jewels are save points. Data saved. All right, no problem. Let me take these guys out. Okay, what was this, this character's name again? Reinhardt Schneider? Oh, that's a camera right there. According to the opening narration by Rector Belmont, uh, he's related to the Belmonts in some way. Here we go. I don't think that was actually Richter, but it was definitely his voice actor 
who played him in the in Symphony of the Night. You definitely hear it in him. Who also, funnily enough, voices Chris Redfield in the original PS1 Resident Evil. Let's see here. This doesn't seem that janky so far. Like, yeah, I don't have a, a right stick for the camera, but it's an N64 game. I kind of have that expectation. Okay, if I use R button when, I, when I'm not locking on, I can kind of flip the camera around, like how Zelda does the Z-targeting. So they're going to infinitely respawn. I wonder how viable it is to farm. Oh, hey. Take that. Another power-up. Okay, my whip now has a red, um, a red thing on it. Okay, quick question. I'll ask when I, when I genuinely want to know, but if you, like, die in this game, is it back to last save, or is it, like, back to the start of the room, like a checkpoint system? Okay, I made it. Ooh, big one. Okay, more of this. I can lock on enemies. Yeah, that's what, like, that little yellow and red circle around them is. Is there fall damage? Nope, nothing here. Moon card. Moon card? It's like DSS now? Powerful magic moves time forward to sunset. Oh. Makes it 6 p.m.? All right. I don't know what I'm going to need that for, but I'll hang on to it for now. I'm not sure if it's a consumable. It said times one on the menu. I guess we'll see when we get into this. A sun card, and I'm assuming that makes it 6 a.m. Okay, back to save if you die. Back to the start of the level if you haven't saved. Wait, really? So, if you don't save the game, the game actually covers for you? Kind of weird. Oh. You can see those bats there. 500 gold. Oh, it's this. They're trying to get over here. I think they stand a chance. So I'm guessing... Mechanism to open the grating to operate the mechanism. Having the right C button be the interact is kind of weird, but I guess you do need to jump and whip with A and B. I plan to do both characters and Legacy of Darkness if I like this. Oh, okay. Whoa! I can't leave. He took away the platform. Okay, this might... This area is a little tight here with this camera. This is a little almost overwhelming all of a sudden. Oh, I got him. Didn't really get a chance to test out my, um... My axe yet. Another power-up? Oh, I can't pick it up. I'm already at max level. I'm guessing if I... Oops. If I die, I'm gonna lose my whip power-ups. Will my inventory also empty? No, if I go back to last save, that won't matter. Oh, yo, he's a bomb! Jeez. Here we go. Who knows, if I think this is interesting enough, I can probably make another Castlevania video on the other channel. Something's running for me. Can I get more sun, sun and moon cards? No, I can't. Okay. I kind of want to redo some of my oldest Castlevania videos. Those ones were made, like, in the really early crusty days. Okay, so I open the grating. Oh, hang on. Go to normal view. Where was the thing I opened again? I have a map. Just take the money. Oh, hang on. Ah. Uh... 
maybe make new ones for a while and redo the <laughs> redo the Soma games after a decade. Okay. I don't remember that sign. Was I running from something? No, I moved that there. Hang on. Route. Route. All right. Is the text cutting cutting off? It just says route. Okay. I may as well save again. I'm assuming it's a good idea to save often. No idea if enemies can drop roast beef. Or how I get health back otherwise. Data saved. Can slide. Do that. Crap. I saw the blue one. It's been an entire day of whipping skeletons here. Only other Castlevania game I can think of that has a system like this was like two, right? Yeah, what do we got here? Go away. Roast chicken. I picked that. I best have picked up a drop there. Engraved on the plate, a maiden sings a dirge. I got the cross now. I only wanted the jewel. Looks like 99's the max. That was pretty easy to get a lot of. Looks like the cross seeks them out. That might be pretty good. Hold up. Now what's over here? Game is getting a little laggy over this way. Don't think it's safe to just hop down there. Not that I can really pan the camera to look. Hold up. Let me double check this before I move on. Engraved on the plate, a maiden sings. Alright, so I need to make a maiden sing. I have a sword button. Seems like the whip is just way better, though. Let's check over here, then. Another save crystal. Route. Why did they just say route? I feel like the text is getting cut off or something. There's a white jewel. Will you save up to this point? Data saved. Gimme. I see another knife. I see some dead villagers. This is nothing. People were making it sound like this game was like uncontrollable, but this this kind of feels just fine to me. What do we have here? Hang on, am I going backwards? No, that one's sealed off. It looks similar to the one the way I came in the first place, though, doesn't it? But so does over here. Hmm. Okay. No, these bridges, like, the platforms are, like, to the side. I think those steps are for climbing up if you fall. Yeah, this looks like where that one dude got me. Am I gonna do the same thing again? Go away, guys. I'm trying... Whatever. There's holy water now. Mechanism to open the grating. Operate the mechanism. Okay, that goes away. That means I have to jump now. I better hoard these items. I feel like I'm gonna need to save them for a clunky boss fight or something. Uh, it's making it look like I have to. Okay, the camera pans when I get to it like that. I see. Thought it was. I was getting ready to dive off. Ooh. 
Oh boy, it did not look like my depth perception did not communicate that I could go that far. All right. Oh. That sucks. Oh, it, that that's just game over. Oh. Okay. You fail a jump, game over. Did my whip- my whip went back to level one. Oh, god. At least I kept my crystals in my sub-weapon. Well. Get used to that. I'm assuming it might be a little rough. Alright, let's do this. Eh, I could have welcome. You're just in time for wacky N64 platformer. If I'm gonna die, like, from a single fall anyway, keeping my health up during stages seems like a bad idea. I may as well just save them for bosses. Unless I really need it. Oh, go. Okay, goodbye. Oh, boy. I think they want me to climb up to that one to make the jump, but I can make this just fine. Oh, it's scary, though. The body is the obvious indicator I need the jump there. Oh, just barely can make that. My god. Alright, here we go. Can do it. Slow and steady. At least saving this doesn't seem to be limited. Imagine if it cost money to save. God, I shouldn't say things like that and make it worse. Hold up, I'll hydrate in just one second. Yeah, I can only hold up the 99 jewels. Seems kind of strange that it was so easy to just max them out. I don't even need the sub-weapon. The whip seems good. At least it was when I had the level 2. Okay, make a save. Let me get a drink. I've only died once so far. And it's been 20 minutes. Oh. Well, okay, that's cool. Bro, you're still alive? I just wanted to pick up a hundred dollars. Come on. There's no music at all. There we go. I was starting to wonder what feels like it's missing from Castlevania right now. More money. Uh oh. Oh, great. No. Oh, okay. All right, so first problem found. Uh, you can't easily shift your aim with the lock on. So dodge, trying to hit the bomb skeleton is gonna be a problem when there's a group of enemies. These guys got more health now, it seems. I have a sword with the um, left C button. Maybe I should start using this a bit more, but it's like, okay. Sword. Yeah, I think the sword is meant for close combat. You're right. I don't know why I didn't piece that together. It's a little harder to hit enemies up close with the whip. That's why they give you the sword. Of course. In that case, what do I need the cross for? Extra long range. Uh-oh. Of course, I don't want to hit the bomb skeleton with, um... With the sword, though. Hang on. I guess I'm supposed to climb here. Yeah, I know Carrie plays differently. I'm gonna focus on this one first. Is there a reason to be up here? I can crouch walk. If you hold down Z, you could make me do the duck walk. Cool, huh? I wonder if I can hit these coffins. I can. Alright, let's try getting up here again. The sword was able to hit them. Oh, come on. 
I let go of a button by mistake. This doesn't look so bad so far. Yeah, and I, I, I kind of feel the same. Um, bro, he won't. He's like stuck. He won't like nudge over on the ledge. Hold up. Hammer's a bit weird for those inputs. Let me see. I got jewels in there I didn't need. Maybe people were too harsh on this game. I don't know. I don't know. There's probably going to be some wacky platforming sections. Hold up, what's this? Roast chicken. Oh yeah, let's just take some roast chicken out of a coffin. That's that's good. It does seem like if you fall into the water and you have to go back to last save, that that could get really rough for some sections, but we'll see. Can't go in there yet. The sub weapon's probably a good idea to use in the bomb skeletons, yeah. Assuming it locks onto them easily. Okay, yeah. Oh, it bounces off them. Nice. Okay. Don't think that's chicken. You know what would make a cute BRB screen? Oh, all right. That didn't aim at him. I still have to actually face that direction, it seems. Not just the camera panning. Imagine a BRB screen where it's just Teddy Ursa and Castlevania. <sighs> okay. And, um... Yeah, I'm not going for that. <laughs> Why would I go for that? It's just him sitting there munching on chicken he popped out of a wall. No, oh, I'm gonna die. There we go. There we go. Ugh. Hopefully there's another save around the corner. So far, it's been generous with saves, but... Oh, hang on, I see it. I don't want to use my wall chicken unless I'm, like, at a clunky boss fight. I feel like that's when I'm going to need it the most. If I can carry those around with me. Because I don't think enemies drop them. I'm only getting them from certain candles. Let's do this. Data saved. All right. There might be something... I don't know if this game really has key items, but you never know. Good idea to just break everything. Another sun card? Or is that something else? Yeah, it's a sun card. Okay, so I need multiple of these. Do it. The 10 years of BRBs are nice lately, yeah. I really, really appreciate that one. The few Hell Lobster made, like especially the Valhalla one and the one of uh, Teddy Ursa and Nico for when I streamed one shot. I don't know if like beating the stage will- oh god, is that Fleeman? Oh, it's a werewolf! Oh god. Alright. He's pretty fast. I'm not sure what this violin's all about. I suppose we'll find out. Previously saved. I saved in this room. <sighs> Do I want it? Okay, the werewolf is over there. Skeletons haven't spawned. Great. No, camera. Damn it. Holding down the lock on button stops me from moving. <laughs> Damn it. All right. I might have to use a piece of um wall chicken here, but I saved in this room so I can I I'm it's not really that punishing for me to just try and figure this out. All right, he can only hit, he can he just needs to hit me twice. This isn't good. I have an idea. I want to. I want to see how the AI reacts in this situation. Actually, hang on. Please. 
quickly come in here. Hang on. It's still aiming at him. Bro, you okay? He's not supposed to be in here, is he? Bro, I got him! <laughs> Hold up. Is he stuck in the ceiling now? I still like my whip is still kind of locked on to him as you can see I want to see if I can hit him through the wall hey I think I'm on to some cheese here hang on it seems like he's not intended to be able to come in here Maybe this will work. Stuck in the ceiling again, ain't he? Okay, he fell down. the snap I got him again yes I got him again well, where are you at ah he got me golly fun well, this isn't so bad so far mina it's just I'm was trying to cheese the werewolf because I'm here with, like, no health. Alright. Wait, uh, what's the difference? Roast chicken restores 50%. Roast beef restores 80%. May as well use one chicken. Alright. His AI gets confused when I'm in the doorway as well. I feel like this is a cheese spot. This seems like a lot more... a safer way to get damage off of him. If he doesn't glitch into the doorway, into, into the ceiling again. And do that. Where are you at? He went over there somehow. Hang on. Does the sword do more damage to him? Wait! He, he can't even, like... He can't even get out of the sword stun. Oh, wow. He can get stun locked if I get him in the corner. Alright, I got him. Okay, at least he gave me health back for that. Jeez. Alright, make another save, I suppose. I didn't think the sword would be very good against him, but he even has, like, a bloody animation when you hit him, so I think he's weak to it. Very sturdy werewolf, yeah. Roast chicken? 
Oh, am I picking up chicken from inside the wall? Badly letters are readable. Scrawled on top, the lady who blesses and restores. Is it... Because she gave me health, I guess? Does health, like, respawn at these things? I would hope so. Anyways, the wolf is finally dead. Look at that, jewels. Okay, more power up. The red aura around the whip means it's at full. Holy water. I suppose I don't really need the boomerang. Try this. 100 gold. Alright. That might be better. In, like, close quarter situations. Like, when that one, like, uh, juggernaut enemy got me when I was getting the switch. Alright, looks like I gotta climb down here. There's not even, like, a Mario thing where you just kind of, like, grab the, the ledge when you get near it. Ooh. Hit the switch. Mechanism to open the grating, open the mechanism. Get a drink again. Oh. Skeleton fell. I guess I gotta climb back up now. Don't die, Reinhardt. Don't die. Oh! Is it just the 3D shade in here? Or my depth perception? Because some camera angles, I feel like I'm not even, like, remotely where I am when I go to jump. Yeah, he is looking a little... Oops. He's got a different pose because he's at low HP. That's cool. I opened the grating, so I guess I gotta head back to that. I don't think the whip length changes. I think its attack power only changes with the power up. Games around this time didn't really give much of a tutorial, no. Like, you have to hold down A button to, like, latch onto the ledge and climb it. I feel like that... That effect uh, alone would probably just, like, trip up so many people trying to figure out how to get past the opening. By the way, how long is a single character's playthrough? I actually don't even have any idea. So, this wasn't what I opened? Do I need to go further back? It didn't seem like I actually opened anything. It said the grating. But I've done like three of those so far. One back over here I need it for. It's over this way. I, I haven't broken these candles. It must be this. I feel a mini-map would be very helpful here right now. There's another save point. Wait, is that where... No, I haven't broken these candles. That must not be where... That must be the way forward? Take this. That's an axe. More unbroken candles, so it must be... Save. Okay. The sword can be used by running. Oh, it can. Look at that. It's quicker and weaker and more and meant for close range. The whip is better. Check this way first. I think. Have I... No. Have I got that? Everything looks the same. I don't know where I'm going. All the signs just say route. I think the candles are respawning. 
route. And this is the one that says the talks about the dirge. Yep. All right, I'm officially going backwards. I need to go back the other way then. Oh, it's raining again. Oh, cool, that almost killed me. Cool. I probably should just go ahead and eat. Yeah, the candles are definitely respawning now. But it said I opened a grating, right? I go back through here, but the last grating through this is not there. Is, it, is there something here? Hang on. Was this one I opened? Turn around. All right, a second one for open the grating. Uh <sighs> That's lame. Okay, back through the the jumps that had that thing in the middle I'm not gonna go for. Make a save again here. This is open now, right? Yeah. So, did I need to hit two switches total for this one? I can't tell. It all just looks the same. I definitely have not been here. Nothing to the side. Skeleton bikers. Darn it. Alright, this is annoying. Okay. Holy water helps with those. Okay, perfect. Summoning more. I can do this. to spend more heals. Might need them. Whoa. Money. Okay, I don't want to lose all this money, actually, so I think I will just eat another roast chicken. For all I know, I can only carry nine of them or something anyway. Biker skeletons from hell. The motorcycles, were they invented by this point? Here we go. It seems like the sub weapon has no effect on them. Ah, I tried to jump backwards. All right, you got me again. Come on, just pick up the thing, please. He took his hand off. got this. He's invincible when he's, like, moving around. That's a knife. is just running all over the damn place. Making this take a lot longer than it needs to. The gems are, are like, so plentiful, it almost makes me wonder why they even bother having, like, an ammunition system. Alright, I need to actually get to them.
Throwing this down and letting them chase me through it seems to help a lot. Ah, darn it, too close. I can jump and whip too. Can also throw stuff while in the air. Oh, I get full health when I kill a boss. Okay, that's good. I need to know, remember that. All right, giant skeleton was done. That's where I came from, I think. And I finally entered the castle. Darn, I could have saved that one roast chicken, but we live now. That is true, Dracula's tech or Dracula's castle has tech uh, further ahead of than humanity. In Order of Ecclesia, they have they have chainsaws. They also well they have straight up leather face as an enemy. Still don't know how they didn't get sued for that one. Because <laughs> it literally is just him. Okay, so 45 or 46 minutes to get to the castle. As far as opening stages go. That wasn't that bad, but everything looks so samey towards the end. I was kind of lost. Music. Castle wall. Okay. Will it be as spacious from this point forward? Let's find out. So someone said that a single character playthrough could take seven to eight hours. Really? That long? Okay, doors. Let's have a little look-see around. Okay, so it loops around, just making sure. Can't break those candles. Only place to go up is the stairs. Bone dragons. At least there's actually background music now. It's quite low though. In there. Oh, cool, a guillotine. Medusa heads? No. No, you can't do that. That's as far as it goes, huh? Loud enough for you guys to hear? Okay, good. <sighs> oh, okay. Didn't think I was going to make it. What is the point of the sword? It can't hit around me like that, huh? Oh. Mm. Well then. Back we go. This is how we lose our sanity to the platforming. Just a little hop and a skip. There is fall damage. I'm sure this will be fun. Well. It's okay. This is what we all came for, to see the N64 jank, right? Do the duck walk. Do the duck spin. Oh, you can do that if I get too close. Really noted. Oh, 
No! <sighs> I tried to go around it. Looked like there was room to do that. Well, I'm already committed to going this direction. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Just do a little hop, a little hop and a skip. He's prancing like he's off to see the Wizard of Oz. More holy water. Picking up doesn't refresh anything. And I went to the fire, not here, no. Oh boy. First, just clear out the enemy. Can't believe that dick. That worked on you. 500 gold. So I just have to wait until these things sync up enough for me to go and get it, huh? Okay, I almost veered to the right, too, Mafar. Go away. What? 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 I was... The platform was moving without me! You all saw that, right? <laughs> you all saw that! <laughs> Are you serious? Did it do that because I was crouching? Does it do that? <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. I need to see if that's because I crouched or something. Is that just a thing? Alright, here we go. Oh boy. Maybe because I attacked? It was it seemed safe to use the whip on it before. Hang on. No? Then how did that happen before? Because that's... That's definitely what happened. It's like the platform just moved beneath me and I fell. Somebody clip that moment for me. I need to, like, look at that again. Okay. Alright, maybe I was too close to the wall or something, and it was like... Who knows? I really want to test it. Alright, made it through that one. I still got it, apparently. Oh, boy, alright. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Didn't see that one there. Can't hit them with the sword. Can't hit with them with the whip. Jeez, those things. Where am I at? Oh. Moss Dino. Looks like the holy water is helping out here a lot. Ugh. Not get me, bro. I 
picked up an axe by mistake. Wait, can I just get you from here? I can. Okay, well that was bad. Oops. I think maybe the axe would be okay for me right now anyway. Ah, whatever. Let me see if there's health up here. Oh, there is. Mechanism to open the grating. Pull a switch. Hit the switch. Yeah, it seems like the axe, like, lets you hit them without the, even needing to be in, like, in the range of fire. All right, there goes that now. I see a save point. Perfect. So at the start of the level, do I have to, um, was I able to take two entirely different paths or was the other room at the start I could have gone in like uh, an item room or something? I'm sure I'll, I'll be just fine. Nothing bad is going to stop me. I can do this. This movement is ready. Yeah, it doesn't do a whole lot. Money. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. go. Okay, I got rid of the problem one. This area is a little clunky for dodging stuff, but okay. They want me to have the holy water. Oh, I picked up the knife, didn't I? Damn it. Whoa! I can't climb that? I can't climb? There we go. Oh, that part was chipped. I understand now. Oh, I died. Damn it. I have to do both paths anyway. Okay, no problem. Okay. I have a knife here. Okay. All right. Just dodge. Take the money, because it's funny. Darn it. I'm trying to lock on to use the knife on it, but it keeps, it keeps veering to the skeletons that are spawning in. Oh good, a whip power up. Damn it, stop it. Go away. You guys come back too quickly. Good, I got it. I got the stupid thing. It's dead. All right. All right. Pick this up. All right. Moon card. I don't know. I still don't know what the use of these is going to be, but I will guess I'll find out later. So I need to find a safe place to go down now. Honestly, I should just, like, bite the bullet and heal. A little bit, at least. I'm pretty sure Symphony of the Night was 97. This game, the title screen said 99 on it. Can I don't... Am I able to climb back up to the save? No, I'm not. There's an axe now. Hang on, I can't see a safe spot to, like, fall down. Maybe I gotta look from up here. Hang on. Or I climb up that way. 
Nope, that doesn't work. That's too far. I think if I go down like this... Alright, yeah, that'll work. I just don't want to, like, fall to my death, stupidly. I see a power up there, but I already have the red whip, so I can't even pick it up. Seems like it'd be easy to farm money. Does every single room just have to have, like, skeletons that spawn every two milliseconds? How many bones do they possibly have to use in this place? Okay. I need a second to think. Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm back to start. I'm back to start. I thought I died. Okay. Make a save. Data saved. Alright, so now I need to open the second one. Uh, oh, great. Yeah, look who's here. Red key. Left tower key. Wait, you're telling me it was locked the whole time? Or does it become... Or does the second one you not go in just un become locked or something? Whatever. Alright. Listen over here. Well, we've come this far, Teddy Nation. We can do it again. Everyone hold up your plushies. Hang on. Is there no guillotine there? Hold up your plushies or your pets and send your positive energy. Uh-oh. Uh, that's cool. Not taking any chances here. I'm gonna play it patient. They take their sweet time, apparently. Ah! Okay, they're not on a timer. Only the second and, or first and third one flip when I jump on them, so I have to make the jump to the second and fourth one. Let's wait for them to reset. Oh, God. All right. Oh, nope. Oh, can I not lock on to the fireballs? Can I reach you with this? No, the axe probably would have been really good here, wouldn't it? <sighs> okay. Did I make it? Okay. Another boss. There's a save point on top of the thing. Okay, forces a cutscene where I pick this. I think I did it. Did I do it? Is this the hard stage? Like, is this the one they make hard at the beginning so that, like, kids who rent it have no chance of beating it in one weekend? Yes, but no, it gets worse later. Oh, boy. I suppose Japanese-developed games didn't really do that as much. Fun fact, if you didn't know, th know this, I love telling this when I play Resident Evil. Oh, hang on. Is that you, Dracula? He looks like the he's from the cover art of Vampire uh, Survivors now.
Meet your doom. Like how he says that in front of the skybox JPEG. Even the subs don't line up. Yeah. All right. What does that voice remind me of? Okay. Nice, more chicken. All right, I'll make another save. I'm surprised I got through that second passage uh, first try. This platforming is um a bit much. You see here, it takes some getting used to, but I'm doing all right. Okay, here we go. Now, what was I saying before that cutscene? If you didn't know, back in the day, some games were made intentionally harder at the start, specifically to a as a way to tackle the video game rental market. Let me sit go here. Uh oh. The most infamous example is probably like. If you ever played The Lion King on Super Nintendo, it has this weird, like, maze where the monkeys throw you around, and that entire stage was crafted just just because of the rental system. Oops. I believe the devs themselves said they were, like, mandated to include a really obnoxious level at the start, so just... Because people obviously aren't going to buy the game if they can beat it in a, a single rental period. There we go. But the most, like, egregious example, if I'm using this term correctly... Oh, okay, I thought I picked up the knife. The original Resident Evil trilogy on PS1, this is, like, the same room. I mean, I can fall down here? Okay. When Capcom brought the game to North America, they made... They changed the game to make it harder, like, much harder than the Japanese version just so people couldn't beat it in one weekend. There we go. But the way they did it for RE1 was like, like the type ridiculous. Like I can't even think of like a stronger word right now, but you know, we, we all know that Art Resident Evil is like tank controls and all that back then. But um, hold up, take these out. I just go here now. But for the first Resident Evil, they actually took out an aiming mechanic. That was present in what the game, how the game was like, does actually designed around. I'm trying to focus, but these skeletons are in my damn face. I think I got to go here. Okay, there it is. All right, we're back. Save again. Like you know, when you aim in Resident Evil uh, with the tank control ones, you automatically like turn towards the nearest enemy. They took that out of the first U.S. release. Like they completely removed it from the from like uh, the programming or whatever. And it made the game stupidly harder because obviously it wasn't designed to be played like that. Here we go. That's literally evil? Yeah, you're telling me. They also made it so that ink ribbons came in like less frequent and enemies had higher health. I think they put it back to normal when they made like the, um, the director's cut or DualShock release. There we go. Resident Evil 2 had some changes as well. I think like when you're in danger, the enemies actually become more aggressive in the US version. Uh oh. Great, wolves. Two Cerberus. All right, Holy Water is good here. Holy Water has some pretty good stun lock mechanics to it. All right, nice. I got them. And what was I saying? What's funny is they also disabled the aim mechanic in Resident Evil 2. Oh, come on. But you could turn it back on by checking the options menu, but it was turned off by default. Really weird. And I think for Resident Evil 3, the main difference that people would notice is that in the US version, Nemesis has like 100 more health in every encounter. Oh, great. Like, he has 800 HP in the Japanese version and 900 in the US. So if you do, like, a kill nemesis in every encounter run, he's much harder there. All right, there were other candles back there. Hoping more enemies don't pop in. Are they respawning or what? Okay, it was just you. Okay. 
I mean, that was the sort of change to a game that you were you could get away with making back then. And nowadays with the internet, like, yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> Here we go. It's funny because a lot of people remember that, like, US versions would make games easier, but there were just a few examples like Resident Evil where they just, like, made it harder because, no, please don't rent the game. We won't make money if you rent the game so you can't finish it quickly. Okay. There's a ghost. I think what's also funny is that when the director's cut version of Resident Evil was released in Japan, it actually has a mode that specifically, like, adds the US version as its own difficulty setting. There we go. Okay, I can slide. I don't remember what it's called, though. Oops. Let me see. Bouncing ghost. It looks like there's stuff up there. I want to try and get that, but can I reach that? Hang on. I stand here. Come on. I don't know if I can reach that. I'm trying to stand on this properly. Now it seems like it's too high up, unless there's something I can move. Do this. Data saved, all right. Having a look around. This isn't the castle, this is just Dracula's villa next to his castle. Show-off needs to have a bunch of stuff, apparently. Splendid fountain with carvings in relief. Okay, I was able to examine this. I guess there's something I need to do with this one little, like, spot here, but I'm not quite sure what. Hang on. I can't examine this. It's hard to check things when there's so many enemies just in your face because they respawn constantly. Oh, what? There's a moon card hidden in here? I could just check random stuff and pick things out of it, apparently. I thought only those fountains at the start did that. Well, whatever. Oh, boy. Oh, no, I'm still playing Mother 1. That game, funnily enough, yeah, the American version of that was made much easier. It kind of reminds me of the opening area of Resident Evil on the subject. There are some not-so-obvious items sometimes. Okay, these are just red gems, but there could be health in here. That's the main thing I want to take with me. The jewels seem to be, like, in such, like, large supply. I don't need to worry if I waste any of these by dropping them. Nothing over here. Oh. Cutscene? It's another boss. Oh, uh, never mind. It was just some guy with a spirit Halloween mask that thought he was thought he was crap. <laughs> they gave that dude a cutscene and everything. He died. He went down so quick. These will check the bottom floor out first. Door is locked from the other side. Is the servant's entrance? Yeah, it's Resident Evil Mansion, all right. There's no doors over here. Feels like a waste of space here. All these gems, and I don't need them. I was really hoping for some health here. Uh, did I see... Oh, there's a door over there. I didn't see that. I suppose at an angle, it kind of blends in. Oh my god. Is that supposed to, like, look like outside? <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't make fun of it, but it's clearly just, like, you know... 2D bushes and, like, a 2D, like, wind effect just, like, stapled on top. 
I'm sorry, that just looks really silly to me. Maybe on a CRT it looks better, but... <laughs> doesn't look like outside at all. We got here. We have outside at home. <laughs> Hang on. I wonder if I can pick something from the middle of this pillar. Nope. Carefully tended garden filled with the fragrance of roses. Why is the spacing so weird on these dialogue boxes? I see nothing here. Pictures of random peeps. It's this? Oh, it's a knife and an axe. The axe and holy water are very good, depending on the situation, for sure. But I don't know what's up ahead, so I guess I'll just take with whatever I got. We got actual rooms here. Just try examining more stuff. Hang on, what's this? Purifying. Cures... Curse or vampirism? Wait, I can get hit with, uh, vampirism. Or not. Cannot be used. Oh, it must be a key item, then. I need to give to somebody, I'm assuming. Row of chairs. There seems to be nothing useful. Some previous residents. Are we sure about that? Beautiful paintings. Is this supposed to be a bed? Comfortable bed? Imagine you need to get, get into a bed, and you go over to your mattress, and it's like as tall up, like up to your chin. <laughs> Good God, I need a stepladder to get into that. Somehow that bed is more blocky looking than uh, Minecraft. There's a stylish sofa. And examine so many things now. Hi. What's your name? Don't move, not even a finger. All right. You appear to be a genuine human. I am Charlie Vincent, the mightiest of all vampire killers. You look like a villager. Are you lost in the forest? I am Reinhard, uh, Reinhard Schneider. I have come to destroy Dracula. Don't talk nonsense. Leave Dracula to me. He is not the sort of opponent for an amateur like you. The vampire is not a foe to be taken lightly. I advise you to flee to safety now. Obstinate youth, I will give you one more warning. Bro, I'm the chosen one with the whip. We know how this goes. Leave this place without delay. Do you understand? Ah, yes. At dawn, I spied a young woman in the rose garden. In the midst of the foes, she was calmly tending the roses. Oh god, I have time-based events now? It's midnight. Ah, uh, yes. At dawn, I spied a young woman in Rose Garden. Can I not use the door? Okay, I can. Okay, I need to go to the Rose Garden at 6 a.m., I guess. This is where the cards will help, but it's not too far off. It's about 1 now. Nice. Chair. Alright. I guess we'll go take care of that right quick. I don't think I need to use up a card. I'll just start retracing my steps first. Was it this? I 
imagine I have to reload the room when the actual time comes, right? We can just chill for a second. All is nice. You know, I said I didn't want the skeletons spawning anymore, but now it's suddenly so quiet. Yeah, there's no skeletons at all. I, I, I have nothing to hit anymore. Just keep resetting the room. Or do I have to hit the load zone? You don't know what you got until it's gone. I'm surprised. Definitely does seem like the villa is meant to be more of a puzzle area than combat. Let's just go in and out of the load. No more bone fights. No more bones! Candles respawn anyway, so it doesn't seem to matter too much. I'm assuming when he says dawn, he means 6 a.m., but... Could show up for 5. It's close, so we'll just, like, wait a moment. Where are the skellies at? The skellies aren't invited to the villa. They cause too much of a prob- too much problems. I still don't know how the hell my crouch made me fall earlier. I see nobody. Can I check this thing? No. That's just the end of the end of the thing. Alright. How long do characters normally stay? Is it like an hour? This is like the first time the clock is actually relevant. Let's see here. I was already so close enough to six that I didn't want to have to use the um the card. Because I might need an extra one later. And it might be more of an obnoxious wait. It's reddish from the window, so I assume. I don't see anyone here yet. Wait, is it becoming 6 p.m.? Oh, it's becoming 6 p.m., not 6 a.m. God damn it. Well, all right then, fine, I'll use the stupid card. I only have one sun card. Where did I get three of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see no one here, so I guess I have to reset the room. There is nobody here. Carefully tended garden filled the fragrance of roses. What am I doing wrong here? There's nobody here! Did he lie to me? Heck these roses. What was the point of that? Literally, what was the point of that? I reset it one more time. Maybe it was a second off. He clearly says it like it's supposed to be a hint for me to follow. Hang on. Just to be safe, let me check the other door. <laughs> no, there's no one along this way coming. Ugh, what a waste of time. Why does he even bother saying that if it doesn't do anything? They give me an item to skip ahead in time. He tells me I need to be there at a certain time, and, it, and well, nothing happened. See, that seemed like the natural thing way to go about it. 
Oh well. I guess now we'll have a look around elsewhere. Ah uh, yes, at dawn I spied a young woman in the rose garden. In the midst of the nest of bows, she was calmly tending the roses. He did definitely say dawn. Whoa. Now there's enemies. Door marked storeroom and is locked. There's enemies here again. Come on. You can check the fireplace. There we go. Is a pain and shows a garden. It might be 4 or 5 a.m. If it is, it seems like a silly decision to uh, give you an item that skips to 6 then. Landscape painting. Shows a garden. There you go. Free roast chicken. We have here cutscene. Think that something in this room's gonna move. But I can't quite figure out what. Seems to be a contract, but it's so hard to read. Pray, excuse me, but have you seen a scroll hereabouts? Ah, that's it. Thank you dearly. This is important to my business. Forgive my rudeness. My name is Renan. I am what you call a demon. Wait, wait. I'm not an enemy. My role is to provide useful items for adventurers to the Dark Castle. It is shameful for a demon to be working, but one needs gold even in hell these days. Surely we were fated to meet. Whenever the need arises, use the scroll to summon me. Dear me, is that the time? We've talked too long. Remember, summon whenever you need. The guide, a guide I'm looking at says 3 a.m. is the time you need to do that. 3 a.m. is not dawn. <laughs> that is not even close to dawn. Maybe somewhere in the world, but not here. All right, let's check this. You require something. Buy item. Oh, I can buy these from, how much do they sell for? 1,500, that's not too bad, honestly. He's kind of extorting me for, like, you know, chicken, but... That's way off. The dialogue's probably an oversight. Healing kit, purifying... Sun card, moon card... These are only 500 a pop, damn. Not available. Why? You have four of those. Why are they even listed if I can't buy them? Oh, it's it's how many of them I have, I see. Let's buy two of them for now, then. I guess I should make it nighttime and just keep checking the rose garden. Is there supposed to be voice acting here or something? Because... I can't move the cursor until, like, a little bit, few seconds after he says something. I don't think there's more voice acting in the Japanese version or something. Healing kit. Okay, yeah. Full strength. And gets rid of any extra conditions. So, Purify and I have. I guess I carry these in case I get that. When it said I couldn't use it, it's because I didn't have the condition. Recover from poison. I feel like I should take some of these. 
Take three for now. Sun card, roast beef, 2,000. Now that I can buy stuff, I feel like this will be a lot, a lot more smooth sailing at this point. Just buy this for now. This is good enough. So I don't take the contract, I just see it on the ground to call him. Purifying. Oh, I got an item from inside there. Nice. Well, let's keep exploring the rest of the mansion first. But when we get close to 3 a.m., we'll, uh... We'll go deal with that, I guess. Was alive? No, they're puppy statues. A sign saying, Door to the Maze. It is locked. The game kind of took, like, a bit of a shift here. It was all combat, and now it's just a- now it's like a puzzle adventure. I don't mind that, but I feel like it's- it's- It didn't really ease me into it. They're just like, okay, this is net this is this now. <laughs> oh, boy. Like, this feels like the kind of stuff with like, in a hub world or something. Need to find a key. Because I can't just find a switch to open everything now. Uh, currently, it's about 2 p.m., right? Oh, hold up. I can check the actual... Yeah, 13 o'clock there, all right. Let's check out other doors, I suppose. Chilling on the ground, waiting for their chance to get at me. Alright, so this door also goes here. That's what this is. Hello? What did my whip just do there? Did you see that? Like, I... It went, like, behind me. <laughs> Alright, let's check here. Cutscene again. <laughs> Help! This place swarms with demons. You have entered the castle of hell. What's the matter? What has happened? If you value your life, you will flee this place now. Take your time to say anything. Dot, dot, dot. Wait, there's no one in the mirror. <laughs> Jump scare. <laughs> Why is he rolling? <laughs> He's like, oh god, I gotta get two steps away. You smell different from the usual adventurer. Come to me. I will taste your blood. Dude went down piss easy like the other one. Gold is still pretty easy to get, so I shouldn't be hurting too much for items. It won't hurt to stock up next time. Destroy the Kermit bat. Purifying. Okay. I don't, like, necessarily mind the shift. I just feel like, um... The way it's presented right now kind of feels like they made it up as they went along. Where it's like, okay, we want to make a combat-focused area. Like, but boss, I feel like... I, I feel like a, a, a Resident Evil. Yeah, let's do that now, too. Let's just do that right now, because we feel like it. All right, where the hell am I at now? It's the end of this. I got some fun little cutscenes along the way, at least. Yeah, Reinhardt does kind of feel like he has that Apollo Justice, like, uh, little two hairs sticking up at the front. This is the one I gotta go in. K. 
Okay, what time is it? Okay, I see. Still got time. If it really is 3 a.m., I gotta check for a door marked archives. It is locked. Can I break these? Maybe there's something in if I examine these. Nope. Battle view. Normal view. I just like how during that cutscene he like rolled a bunch. It's very funny. Nothing here. Soothing click of the C stick. Yes, that's right, the C stick. I'm definitely pushing my C buttons on a Nintendo 64 controller trademark. Okay, it's nighttime now, it's 6 p.m. The only thing left to do is to check the Rose Garden over and over until someone shows up there. Not far off, the devs did not know how to make a 3D Castlevania. They were kind of winging it. That is something, to be fair, we kind of have to take into account. Um, when, the, when games were, like, first booming into 3D, a lot of devs had no idea what to even do because, like, the technology for it and game design was just couldn't like just being invented on the fly they essentially just had to look at like some mario 64 and crash bandicoot and be like eh, okay kind of like that maybe and but the problem is you know at the time obviously 3d was the big business stuff that everyone was pushing for with their advertisements so i'm sure that all the suits at the big corporations were like, make a 3D game, and that that's your problem, how to figure out how to do it. Uh, you, by the way, you have like two months, good luck. So, you have to remember the 3D era was also kind of rocky because they kind of didn't really have much of a, <laughs> a good setup to step into it. Which is why in games like Sonic Adventure, Sonic had a bit of a rough transition to 3D. There we go. I should clarify, I'm joking. Before I see that, like, sniper laser point anywhere in my room. Let's just wait. Let's just wait. Faster to do that like that. Nope, oh, stop that. Gotta wait a few minutes. May as well stretch. There's nothing else to do. Until at least after midnight. Apparently 3 a.m. is dawn. Oh, boy. Yeah, I know about Bubsy 3D. They started development before anything else was really on the market, and when they saw Mario 64, they were like, yeah, God, this looks terrible. This looks terrible. Greedy Bat Blast was pseudo 3D? Well... Some games like that would use, like, um... Kind of, like, sprites to emulate 3D, right? Did Sonic 3D Blast do that? I'm not quite sure. Because it was, like, an isometric perspective game, right? I see no one in here still. Is there really nothing I can do except just wait now? <laughs> it's a little silly. I suppose I could farm, like, money upstairs for a quick second. Let's do that. There were some enemies here, weren't there? Where's the other one? Only one showed up that time. There we go. It's like only one showing up. It'd be nice if he could just drop money for me. Alright, this looks like looks like it's midnight now. Hang on. He's not in this room anymore. If I go in here, is he here? No, he's just gone. Alright. Is there some Oh, he's sleeping in the bed? 
Bro, his head is just popping out of the model. Hang on. <laughs> his eyes are open too. Bro, that looks so bad. Uh, okay. Comfortable bed. They tried. They tried there. He's trying to sleep, but someone keeps barging into his room. All right, let's check the garden again. Didn't get any money. All that. Okay. No one's here yet. Is it like, what, 2 a.m. now? Yeah, it's two. It just feels weird that he's, he clearly said dawn. And the sun card takes you to 6 a.m. So you can... A normal person would assume that that's the time you have to check the Rose Garden. But your guide says 3 a.m. There's nothing to do except check every, check every hour, I suppose. Okay, 2.43. Just spin. It's now 301. Please let there be someone out here because I don't know what else to do otherwise. Oh my god. <laughs> Dawn, everybody! 3 a.m. The sun card would make the wait take so much longer. Hi. Uh, hi. Are you a vampire? I wish to water the roses. Please step aside. I get it. Her name is Rosa because she waters roses. Who are you? I just said, Reinhardt. What are you doing here? And I just said that too. I am Rosa. I look after the roses. See? Gosh. White roses. Oh, she waters them with blood. You... You are a vampire? Why have you no fear? None but vampires and demons live here. Wandering carelessly in this place will soon cost you your life. I cannot disobey my father's teachings to never attack the weak. Okay. Such sentimentality will cost you your life. I will forget I saw you. Flee now. The destiny of my blood means I must destroy Dracula. Look at the back of her head, it's so pointy. As you will, first you must go to the castle archives. The key to the archives. Ah, yes. A previous adventurer took it. Mm-hmm. I can help you no more. Do not lose your life too quickly. She's fading away. She, she didn't even give me the key. She gave me a hint as to where the key is. That was fantastic. Ah? Carefully tended garden. When she says castle archives, she means villa's archives. It's a typo. I assumed as much because I saw something that said archives, but I didn't really catch that. Yeah. Maybe the old man? Setting aside the fact of uh, 3 a.m. being dawn and the sun card being, like, kind of badly tuned with that, was there any real reason that that needed to be a time-based event for this? Like, why? Setting, like, we go from fast combat to, like, the most intentionally let's slow the game down stuff I've ever seen. <laughs> okay. gotta use the clock for something like they thought of something and they were like yeah do you think like when when this game's devs saw majora's mask clock system they felt like the bubsy 3d devs when they uh saw mario 64 i want to think they did <laughs> majora's mask was like two years after this right hang on he's in here 
I think Majora's Mask was 2000, 2001. He's still sleeping. I guess I should just go back and check the other side of the damn mansion, apparently. It's about to be 6 a.m., though. Maybe he'll get out of bed and I can talk to him. I can, I, I, I can finally understand why this uh, playthrough would take seven to eight hours. Wait. I mean, yeah, I know 3 a.m. is the witching hour when spirits come into this world, but he very clearly said dawn, not 3 a.m. the witching hour. He's up. The key to the archives. Ah, that must be the key I found in the rose guard. You had it the whole time. My intuition tells me it is worthless. Take it if you wish. T spent two days. Two days, Grandpa. Oh. Hang on a second. Can I, like, go to the front of the mansion and save again? I feel like if I die, I am going to be really upset. I'm going to go save. Because I don't think I've really found a save point around here this whole time. Go back. Didn't expect this to turn into a spooky adventure game now. Here we are. I think there was a save point over here. Yeah, there it is. Hang on, is there anything up here? Here lies the Lord of the Mansion, Or de Ray? De Ray? Dress? Is that supposed to be French? I forget how you say AIS with like uh in the in French like that. Do you say it as just rye? I I th uh I th I think I don't know. I can't remember. Hang on. I'm just save again. Double save because I don't trust it. Never know if I accidentally hit B or something. Oh, I lost that. Let's go. All right. Yeah, stained glass golems. I recognize those things because there was a similar enemy in Castlevania Chronicles. I love how they disintegrate. This is the only door on the upstairs, actually. There is no other spot to really check. This villa is a little bit lopsided, ain't it? I actually don't mind time-based systems a lot, uh, very much, because I like Majora's Mask a lot. Especially getting, like, all the masks and stuff, but the thing I just found weird is, um... It- I don't know, it just- so far, it feels incredibly forced and unnecessary in this so far. I don't even see- I don't see why the old man couldn't have just given me the key at the beginning. That's my reward for finding him and checking the rooms. Hey, there's a table in here now. The table was gone after when that dude showed up for a cutscene. This must be it down here, right? The archives key has been used. There's holy water. Hang on, can I check things? Wish I had a cool archives. Can I jump and check? I did. Many books, but none appear useful. Hang on. Hang on, can I do that again? You see. I like inputted a jump and uh, the check at the same time. It was weird. Oh, purifying was there. Nice. I don't know if I'll need that, but none appear useful. Oh, key. Garden key. Alright, I can finally do that now. 
Get a key, open a door, get another key, open a door, another key. All right, we're all done here. Now, how the heck did I get back to the garden? I remember. I could have sworn there was two of these guys in here. But now there's only one. I wonder if there's anything behind this that I can only see when I'm in first-person mode. Not really. Dracula's like, you'll never reach me ever. Not with this maze here. I am 100% gonna have to fight that. It just looks like it. I don't need to buy anything from him right now. Some of the fabric effects look pretty cool for this time. Yeah, that's all right. Nothing to check. So now we gotta go through a fun maze. What's this? The door is locked from the other side. Shortcut. Well, it's a maze. It's got those rising platforms. God, it reminds me of the maze from Resident Evil 4 now. A knife? I don't want that. Sign saying, Copper Door. It is locked. Action view. Door is locked from the other side. There's a lot of these. Is that a dude with a chainsaw? Can I talk to him? No. Oh, he has a chainsaw arm. Bro! Bro! He dead? Okay, he's dead. Jeez! Oh, he- oh, he gets back up! <laughs> Bro, he gets back up and chases me! Oh, he killed me. Well, good thing I saved. Good thing I went back and saved, huh? Dude. All things considered, after a really slow, like, uh, going, that's a nice build-up to a thing that chases you in the horror game. It's actually pretty sick. It's like a Frankenstein's monster with a chainsaw arm. Still got Bruce Campbell's cor <laughs> Campbell core. He's not even dead. What the hell am I saying? That joke doesn't work. I've never seen an Evil Dead movie, though, so I can't really make much jokes. All right. Is he just going to chase me through the maze? Was there anything inside that vase he was blocking? See, maybe this game would make a good video after all, because, like, th there's a lot of things to say about it, clearly. More than just a uh, bad 3D platformer. Or action game, or horror game. What is this trying to be again? I need to look up, like, the back of the box and see how they tr they're trying to sell it. I think I need to go to the archives again first. I saved when I got the archives key. Minotaur in the maze. No, that's too- that's a little too basic. I think, um, the creature with the chainsaw arm is, uh, pretty cool. Its name is the Gardener. He was using the chainsaw arm to garden. I think that's pretty cool. Again, see, I like, I, I still do have an interest in making Castlevania videos for the other channel. It's just like, man, I feel like I've gotten so much better at like writing and editing since like I made my first ones that I just like feel like I want to redo them. It makes me not want to like immediately do a new one right now. Okay. Oh boy. Then again, I see lots of other YouTubers redoing their old videos lately. I think, like, even Nitro Rads mentioned redoing his Raymond videos next year, or this year. Okay. 
Yeah, I feel that. I've had, I've still had like this Mega Man video and editing for so many several months because so many things have just happened. Man, it's been like a year since the last Mega Man. Oh, I'm back going backwards. Silly me, silly me. Everything looks the same again. There we go. Actually got far enough along with editing it, but oh, storeroom, I can't go in there. It's over here. There we go. And then to the right. But yesterday I was just like, you know what? I, I'm exhausted. I don't feel like sacrificing like sleep or anything to finish this. I want to just like stream tomorrow. There we go. Okay, let's try this again. If only there was a save room. Or sorry, save crystal outside of this. Okay. Now, I was writing stuff for so long that, like, it took me forever to actually get it to the editing phase because I had things like getting sick, I had my head injury, and then even this past week, I told you guys, I had, like, one of the outlets in my house fried. We had to shut down power to that entire floor and then get, like, an emergency electrician in. And that was fun. And we had that storm that caused some flooding around here. I had the power flickering. Okay, let's have a look around. Take a different path. Did I see this one yet? All those things happening like back to back for like months at a time. There seems to be no keyhole. It just makes you not really want to sit down and spend eight hours in the editing chair, you know? Oh, what's this? Is this cutscene? Who's there? Well, of course it's a cutscene, but... Hey, it's the title screen person. Please. Help me. Hold up, I'll fix my seat. What is a child doing in this place? I am Reinhardt. You're safe. I'm a friend. My name is Malice. So, Malice, why are you all alone in this fearful place? They burned the village. My home. My mother and father, too. That's terrible. They took all the children to the castle. The devil in the black cloak was looking for a certain child. And then, then, my, my head hurts. I can't remember. It's all right. You don't have to talk. Puppies. It's those statues. Oh, look, voice acting. That didn't match the dialogue. Wait, don't leave me. Don't leave! Don't leave him! What do you want him to do, bro? You're the one that gotta fight him. Oh, wait, are you biting me? I can't move. Animation didn't really reflect that. Oh! Oh, God. Oh, okay, I need to heal. I need to heal. Oh, my God. Oh, bro, this is not... The dogs keep reviving now, huh? The... Wait, no, the dogs hold me still so he can get me. I have to follow him, I think. I think I move slightly faster by jumping. Oh, God, which way to go? I have no idea where he went. There he is. <laughs> Help me! And see where he went. Bro, what is this part of the game? I don't know where I'm going. I have to jump so they don't get me. Dude! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna use the roast beef. Ow! 
How do I get out of this? Oh, I could use the sword while I'm stuck like that. Seriously? I guess that makes sense, I suppose. I think I might be going backwards at this point. What? I can't slide through that? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. See, it's scary because, like, it's easy to die because of how a little bit janky this feels. I think I need to go backwards this way. At least the dogs drop things when you ki technically kill them, but... I have no idea where he went. Oh, God. I don't know if that'll actually slow him down. Hang on, can I check this? Oh, the garden key works on this? Was I supposed to go in here? Wait, I don't think they can come in. No, they can't open the gate. I'm safe. Oh, thank God. Let me get some stuff now. Kid's been running for eight hours straight. Okay, I got some food. Is this just a safe room or am I supposed to be in here? An old stone pillar. It is discolored and rotten. Can I whip him to the wall? But they'll just get right back up. It doesn't really matter. Stone pillar, discolored and rotten. He, went, he didn't come in here, so what am I doing here? Like, we gotta get the hell out of here, Scoob. Can't do this. I don't think the whip goes through the wall now. So, there's nothing in here. Huh? This might be the last part I need to go into. They're gonna circle it. Okay, go. They're coming. Chat, they're coming. Dead end! Oh, they killed me. I don't know what to do here. Weird. All right, I'm back. I need to go get the archives key again and jump into it. At least I shouldn't be afraid of spending my heals there, that's for sure. Back we go. Hang on, this was... Did I ever go in here yet? Door is locked, right? Servant's entrance. Couldn't see where the kid was running. I was just running, trying to find him. All right, let's go over here. Let's get to it again. I was running for my life. If the dogs, like, bite you, they hold you in place. So that, uh, Chainsaw Boy can get you. Oh boy. Oopsie. And over here. Did the cutscene with the kid, though... Did it only show the dogs? I don't rec recall if, uh, the monster showed up with that, too. This might take a few tries, apparently. There seems to be nothing useful here. Okay, now there's something is. Hmm?
Let's try again. Let's try again. Monster just roams around, but it seems like he's aggroed and locked on to me once I, um, once I do that. Hang on, I reach for my drink. Let me just put it down so I can whip this thing. I will just buy a crap ton of potions later. That's a different curtain that's there now. That's weird. Bro! Okay. I got enough heals on me. I just gotta not be afraid to use them if I take a hit or two. So it seems like what you're supposed to do... Hang on. Is there, like, a save here? This would be, like, the best room to just kind of stick one in. Oh, there really isn't. Okay. Unless there's just one around here that I haven't seen. Can't examine these. I just gotta find the kid and just make a beeline for it, I guess. I don't think this is the road to the kid. Money. 300 gold. Oh boy. So he's just automatically roaming around or... Oh, no, there he is. Yeah, that's where I found him the first time. You can't kill him. I took him down and he just, like, he gets back up. Same with the dogs. Like, they get back up instantly. You can't kill them. It seems like throwing holy water to get by myself an extra couple seconds will work. Which way did I go before? That's the entrance, so where the hell is... Oh! Okay, it's right... It's left right at the start. Good, I can skip. Alright. Let's go. God. Okay, he went in this way. They're looking for a way in. Bro. How is that not what you're supposed to do? Alright. Great, alright. It looks, totally looks like you're supposed to slide under it, but you can't do it. Ugh. He does a lot of damage, so I gotta do this. At least I know where that is now. It's just the game trying to lead you into a dead end. Alright, I took out one of the dogs. Never mind. Oh boy. Alright, he waits for me. Help me! Help me! Oh, bro. Alright, let's do this. Now, chat, how does this look to you? Does this look fun to play? I'm curious. What's what's the chat opinion as a viewer? Oh, boy. Hang on. Let me just stop in here for a second. Okay. Favorite game of all time. Okay, well, if you haven't played it before, I mean. This part's definitely pretty crusty. Okay. I appreciate what it's going for a lot, but man, it's... It's tense for kind of a little bit of the wrong reasons. It's probably a lot more fun to watch than it is to play right now, but... I think the holy water is probably the best thing I could have for this right now. Dude! 
reload. Yeah, do this. Try playing on an N64 controller. You can imagine it'd be rough. Oh, I saw him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I hope this is the right way. There he is. Oh, I think I did it. No, it's not so bad that I give up. It's just definitely a little crusty. I appreciate them putting me in a tense situation of where I gotta run away from something, but geez. I'm scared. I'm more scared because, like, I can't <laughs> get away from him consistently enough. You've come this far. Once you're through the forest, you're safe. You're a man. You can do it. Alright. This seems a little irresponsible, but sure, he'll, he'll be fine. Are they still coming? Bro, there is no way they're still coming. Malice escaped through this door. It's not necessary to open it. Wow, I can actually open it. Yeah, let's, let's all put it back up. <laughs> okay, let's go here. This part's much better in the Cornell story, yeah. Legacy of Darkness, from what I hear, you go through a lot of the same maps, but they, like, polish up some some of the jank, from what I understand. But it hit... The Legacy of Darkness version is, like, its own story. Let's see. Oh, Copper Key. Um... That was for a copper door in the maze. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Still chasing me. It's not too hard to stock up on massive amounts of healing items, though, for sure. Oh, save. Thank goodness. There's a white jewel. All right. Data saved. Okay. Okay. Do it again. I immediately forgot which of these two doors I came out of. I think it was this one that I entered from, wasn't it? Well, I hear you can unlock the 64 characters in Legacy of Darkness after you beat it, but it doesn't even have, like, all the same scenes, I think. Our lock in the door has been lifted. Okay. Either way, from what I hear, the full you get the full experience by playing both. So I'm okay with starting with this one. Um... The characters can be unlocked, but most levels are completely different. Okay. So, yeah, it's not even the same experience if you play as Reinhardt and Carrie in that version. Okay. Opens copper door, single use only. At least I got my save. So, the copper door was in the maze, though. So, does that mean I just have to loop all the way back around? Because it was unsafe to go back the way I came... After getting him out of the maze. Oh, well, whatever. There we go. No, it's I, I still don't think this game is nearly as bad as the internet made it out to be. I'm having a good time playing it. The the crust kinda adds to it at points. Let me see. 
Currently, the Twitch category says Legacy of Darkness because it doesn't actually have a category for regular Castlevania 64. Oh, this is the archives. My brain just, like, autopilot went back to here. Silly me. I wonder how closely the two PS2 3D Castlevanias resemble anything of this. Did they use ca uh, the 64 games as a basis, or did they just completely rework everything from the ground up for the game design? Windows more open now. Oh, god damn you, go away. Completely different, all right, good. Big gold armor, you stay there. More like beat-em-ups. Uh, aren't the God of War clones, like, that was the Lord of Shadows one, right? Yeah, I hear them in there. Should we use a heal item here? Let's look for the copper door now. No, no, no. Lord of Shadows is a, diff is a different thing. That was like the 360 PS3 era. Oh, they're here. Cool. I hear them coming. I forgot my sword button for a second. No! I didn't mean to pick that up. Oh, well. I'll get more stuff back later. Copper door key has been used. Okay. Okay. Nothing over here. No, I've just never played the PS2 ones. I want to, though. What's over here? Oh, another save point. I'm sure... The bad parts of those games has probably been embellished to me as well. Data saved. Okay. It's probably where I need to go. Secret basement. Oh, hey! Impaled skeletons! Giant room. Probably a boss fight. Big coffin. Probably a boss fight. Ooh, that organ. Whoa. Just playing Bloody Tears a little bit, and then they're like, no, no background music allowed here. What's that? Hello, ma'am. Very rude to interrupt someone who is enjoying his meal. Or shall I think different, like the main dish has arrived? Why do these guys get a cutscene, but the Chainsaw Frankenstein's monster doesn't? I will kill you here! Okay, can't sword this. Looks like he has a full health bar now. All right, looks like this is a real fight. I have to actually got to focus. Okay, I whipped him as he grabbed me. That was weird. Ah, damn it. Don't see where he is. Looks like I just have to jump around and whip at him. That's pretty much what you do in uh, all the 2D ones, but in the 3D space, it's kind of weird. I'm off to see the wizard! What are you doing? Bro! I don't have a dodge, so... Well, my jump is the dodge, clearly. Bum, ba bum, ba bum.
can't pan the camera up and take a look what he's doing. This is working well enough, I just have to wait for him to do it. Ah, damn it. He's really not that intimidating after de running through the maze. C cannot be! I, a vampire defeated by a human? Yeah. <sighs> you right, ma'am? Round two, fight. She can summon bats and stuff too. I probably should use some chicken right quick. I could buy more of it. I've got a good amount of money. Doing flips and kicks. All right. On the subject of trying to get into N64 jank, another reason I wanted to play this is because I did want to stream the Mega Man Legends games at some point. Or I don't know if you can really do them as a stream. Hang on. At least play them a lot on my own, that's for sure. They're on the list for videos, too. Ah. Holy water would have been a little helpful here, probably. Now that I know that healing items can be bought so easily, let's see here. It's probably gonna, boss fights aren't gonna be too big of an issue, unless they do like a massive chunk of damage like the, the monster in the maze did. Where you at? Get off me! You can't bite me! Sorry, ma'am. Oh, hey, whip power-ups. Weird that those are pickups still. Goes down. There's a secret inside. Found a hidden path. All right, I'm in. Tunnel. I've heard this music somewhere. Gimme. Uh, take this over the frickin' knife. Danger, rock crusher, no entry. Oh. Can I can I save? Oh no. I should I should have went back and saved before I went Oh no, 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 oh no. Bro, is that gonna crush me? small, so I guess that's fine. What's this? Oh, we're going down. Alright, looks like we're out of spooky Resident Evil Mansion place and we're back to combat. Mansion part wasn't that bad, but it still feels weird that, like, the, the timed event with the lady in the garden. That was really such a why did they do it like that thing. Hello? Oh no, this place. Don't say, oh no, you're scaring me. Is that a lady? Spider tattoo? Is that her hand? Oh! 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 
Spider ladies. Okay, I took him out. There we go. Oh, hey, I got my holy water back. Nice. Dead body. Has it drowned? I get the feeling maybe he was very thirsty and he went into that water and uh, something happened. No, must be this poisoned water from the river. I think my theory works. Works too. Depending on how you interpret it. <laughs> What a what a way to go. Oh hey, save point, nice. Where is a white jewel? Will you save up to this point? Yes. You revive the villager, he'll probably be like, hey look man, life sucks in this universe already. Just let me let me go for the monster girls. Here we go. Oh hey. All right, we've done it. Turn the camera. I only saw one werewolf at the start. The werewolf really moved around erratically a lot more than any of the other enemies so far. Kind of surprising that they put it that early. I seen that one juggernaut type enemy in one place as well. Are they infinite spawns? I think they might be. Try going this way. Another dead body. Ugh. Dead body. Has it drowned? No, it must be the point. He's literally on water. I think we can write this one on, on the list as, again, died of thirst. You see here. It's over here. More water. What's that? Oh, it's meat. Roast beef. It's a hint. Don't walk in the water or you get poisoned, probably. I bought three antidotes. I really suck if I didn't have them on me right now. Because I don't think I can exit this place. Which way did I come from? Damn, a mini-map would be so useful here. Uh-oh. Cure Ampole. Danger. Rock Crusher. No entry. Not able to read the letters because of the dirt. Alright. Well, this one can't be any less dangerous. What's this? Oh, that actually worked. Holy crap. I didn't think that would work. Sweet. Bunch of free items. Yeah, let me get a quick drink of water. I need it. Wait, is that... Were you making a joke about the thirst? <laughs> Hush now. Die. Ah! Big ones. They're a different color. That's how you know they're stronger. All right. Elevator out. Post a clip about the first. <laughs> uh, I'm remembering like uh, a clip from one of the Blade movies where a dude's talking about like the uh, vampires and he's like, the thirst in them always wins. <laughs> Go away. You die in two hits. So instead of bones showing up constantly, now it's just naked spider ladies. They just keep coming and they don't stop coming and they keep on coming. All right, I don't need the ax. I think I'll keep the holy water. What's this? Why is that there? What's the significance of that? Moon door? It opened. I don't think they're gonna show up. No, they don't follow me in here. 
the contract. Buy an item. Yeah, I need to stock up on a few more of these. Uh, six of them's enough, actually, for now. I need to get my money back up, because stuff hasn't been dropping a lot throughout the, the villa part. Okay, that should be enough of those for now, and I feel like I have enough cure items for in case I get any other conditions, so I should be okay. Save my money for when I really need it later, maybe. The health drops along the way were generous. Even they knew that the monster could be a bit of a butt. Nothing in here? Again, I actually think the garden part is really cool. Like, you know, it start it, Like, the whole section, like, it's a slow, like, little puzzle adventure all of a sudden, and then you're being chased by something, like, wild like that. That's pretty cool. It's just a little bit janky and crust, because, you know, early... Uh, was it an early N64 game? Well, the devs didn't know how to make a 3D game, though. But still, cool enough. Get one of these again. There we go. You know, whenever I see all those old YouTube videos of people showing um, footage of this game... Oh, look at all the health. Nice. I kind of just realized they only ever show, like, the first two levels. None of them ever made a joke about the Spider Girls. They absolutely would. Isn't that just how all old YouTube videos were? They just, like, make fun of, like, the first couple levels, and then the game gets a bad reputation for, like, ever? What's this? What the heck? You die from fall damage? What a bunch of poopy butt this is. Not able to read the letters because of the dirt. Quitters don't deserve to see the Spider Girls, exactly. Uh-oh. You see there. I find I've been noticing that a bit more with Mega Man since, like, um, I've gotten into Mega Man games. Sometimes I'll see a YouTuber, like, they'll make a comparison to, like, um, something that Mega Man does, and they'll show footage, but I'll immediately recognize it as them just showing, like, the first section of a level in Mega Man 2, and I'm like, bro, you turn that on for five seconds, and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever, because they're not reviewing Mega Man, but I can tell. <laughs> I mean, it's probably also because I, like, make and edit videos. <laughs> but, like, you know. The point I'm trying to make is, you know, people don't want to play through the whole game when they need the clip. But they probably should if they're making a video on the set on said game, right? Rock Crushers. Okay, that's different over there. Hang on, what's the other? That's probably the way forward, so where does this go? Eh, oh, I gotta, I gotta make a video on this. Yeah, uh, what does Wikipedia say? Yeah, that's good enough. Firmly shut iron door. So the moon one only opens during the day. Sorry, night. This one only opens during the day then, huh? Sunlight releases the seal. I see. Let's see now. It's midnight now. I could just use the sun card, because they're easy to buy more, right? There could be something some good stuff in here that's worth more than 500. At least there's a use for these now. What do we got? This is just a loot room, I guess. Ooh, nice. That's worth more than 500, so it's worth the trade-off for... Yep, using the sun card is absolutely necessary there, huh? Buy another $500 card, but I got, like, 4000 worth of meat. Sick. Probably could, like, stand to gain some stuff if I, like, kill enough spider girls for money. No, I don't think this is that bad. Like, I'm having fun with it, and I want to keep playing more, for sure. There we go. Seems like the game might take a bit longer than I thought. Like, I am- I do want to play through Carrie's story. Go. There we go. Okay, I'm at 99. I'm hoping they drop some money here. Nope. 
All right, let's go here then. I see a save point. Nice. Oh, thank goodness. How long have I been going? Two and a half hours. Damn, it doesn't feel like it. I haven't died that much. Like, I've had some insta-death falls, but, you know, that's... It's not gonna happen. Oh. Yeah, die. Dead. Couldn't it be someone from the village? I keep saying the village like I'm supposed to know what that is. Dead. Couldn't it be someone from the village? So... What am I looking at here? Is it moving? Yeah, it's moving. I guess it's a ride. The village people. What is that? What is that? Is that gonna push me off? Seems okay here. Would really suck to fall off right now, though. Getting a little dangerously close. Okay. Can't read it right now. Alright. Where am I at now? <sighs> Hang on, where am I at? Danger, Rock Crusher. It doesn't help that there's a lot of set pieces that get recycled. I feel like, wait, is this the start? Please, no, 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 it ain't. No, tell me it's not. No freaking way, I just went back to the start. I can't climb back up. Oh, oh, so I just have to go all the way through that again, huh? Huh. Where is... Can I even, like, go down here? Oh, no, this does this. Would it be faster to just reload? Probably would be. Are you sure? Yes. It would be faster to reload. Why would they do that? That's just mean! game starts. Stage four. Four. I don't know how many stages there are. Necronomicon. It was the path to the... Okay. This was here. Was this the way I was going? Yeah, it was. There it is. It's right there. Perfect probably why they put a save right there. Probably would have been faster of me to just jump into, like, the spike pit. Whatever. Alright, everybody. Now we sit here for a little bit and wait. How's everyone's day? Have you hugged a Moomin today? You should. You should. Give your pet a little head pat. I went shopping this morning. I finally picked up a copy of Pikmin 4, but I'm probably not playing it for a while. I did a, str I did a randomizer stream of Pikmin 1 that was a lot of fun, and I want I've been wanting to replay Pikmin 2 and 3 for the longest time, so I'm probably going to do that long before I ever get to playing 4. Your people are loving it, though. I also got some Pokemon cards to open later. There we go. Oopsie. Oh, jeez, that pushes me back a bit more than I thought. You just grab this. Do this. Gimme. No, they're my Pokemon cards. I spent all your sub money on it, guys. Excellent. 
Oh, that sucks. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably stream the HD version of 2. Because I have not played that game since, like, the GameCube era. I think it'll be fun. There's also a lot of mods for Pikmin 2. There we go. Dylan streamed a few of them. I've been told there's a Kaizo mod for Pikmin 2 as well. I feel like we could do some of that, since people really like the randomizer of 1, 2. All right, keep going here. I am going on a little adventure. <laughs> this is a little bit unnecessarily long, isn't it? I got hit. Some enemies either do, like, a pixel of health, or they just do, like, half of it. Look at me go. Look at me go. So, like, uh... Just gonna, like, make another stop anywhere? I think that's where I'm getting off. Is this where it started? Huh? Huh? It, it is? What? Where the hell do I go? Huh? I need to get off on a certain point. Oh, God. I didn't see, like, a different one to get on to, though. Was it- is it when I get to the rock crusher thing that I jumped off at the big- uh, at the beginning? Maybe? I do not remember the specific place to get off, because that seems like the only place you can possibly get off, but then that- that yellow one will just kind of scrape you off if you linger there, it seems. Definitely can't stand on those. Going for a little ride. Wah, wah. This seems to be the only spot to actually to get off, so it might be here. Can't check this. Transfer point, check, take the blue gondola to exit. Okay, now it works. Probably here then. Camera. Hit that one. It says tr this is the transfer point, so I guess I'm waiting for the blue one. Can't jump over there. There's spikes. There it is. No! no! Okay. All right. That's cool. That's cool. That makes me a sad teddy. All right. Here you. Who do you think you are? Well, at least I know what to do now. Help the bear. Show that you care. All right. Well, I hope this is enjoyable for you, Chad. Let us go. Probably do a bit more of this, then we'll switch games. Do a little Yu-Gi-Oh, like I promised. I like how when I swing my sword, I can still see my sword fully sheathed on my back there. <laughs> That's right, spam Teddy Hog emotes. We need those right now. There we go. Second sword. All right, I gotta watch for the watch for uh, the yellow one. Ah, 
damn it. I can't adjust the camera. This is a problem. I can't, like, look over there. So I can't see what- No! That's annoying. I can't move the camera to see when the yellow thing is gonna be showing up. Duh. All right, let's do it again. This is such a simple thing. Overcomplicated for no reason. Come on. Yeah, you die. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's get over there again. Maybe if I force it into first person view, I, can, I might be able to shift it around that way. Oh, the camera does not like me looking this way during this part, that's for sure. Problem is that those ghosts bump me. I get knocked down into the spikes and I'm just dead. I thought spikes were insta-kill. There were spikes earlier in like the second stage that didn't kill me. Yeah, I did it. No, no, do not. Camera, what are you doing? Okay, good. I can shift it like this. Forcing it to first person made it a lot more bearable. Uh oh, the sign is block. The sign is blocking. Hang on. No, no, no. All right. Good, good, good. Okay, there's the blue one. No, 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 no. All right, I'm on the blue one. I'm safe. I did it. We often forget how spoiled we are by like a second, by like having an entire stick for the camera in like every game ever now. Back on the N64? Oh, no, no, no. You had one stick, and maybe the game used it. All right. So now I gotta wait until it says it's going to the blue point again. Oh, boy. Yeah, I know. Our button is lock on. But I think it's almost like the gondola stops our button from like doing anything with the camera right now. Cuz like usually you can use the lock on button kind of like Zelda where like, you know, you just kind of shift your camera immediately behind you. In fact, you did that in the GameCube games too cuz the the C stick wasn't really much of a camera stick at that point, was it? I'm out. I did it. I did it. Save point. I did it. Celebration bears. We've done it again. Data saved. All right. Yay. Now I went through these tunnels. Hell am I? Why have I been chilling in some random villa's basement? For like the last while. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Can't check this one dead. Could it be someone from the village? They all have the same thing. Alright, let's not fall into the water. Uh, I guess this is the one I'm supposed to go to, or I could make the jump to this. I guess that's if I fall in the water. I don't think the water is instant kill, I think the water just poisons you. Careful. These are some tiny platforms. Ooh, okay. Oh. Get out of there. Hang on. Need to go to first person here. Okay, no, the camera will not, like, 
let it itself move around here. Ooh, it doesn't look like I'm gonna make those. They're so nerve-wracking. Okay. Oh, I, I could make that apparently. Hold up a sec, dead body. Dead, could it be someone from the village? My whip's at level one. Because I kept dying. It's not nighttime. But it will be. Got three of these bad boys. At least they're doing something else with the sun and moon thing, but... Doing it this way kind of makes it... Wait, what? Oh, okay. I had to check it again. Duh. Oh, a sun card in here. Well, that's all right. Holy water. Well, all I really did was trade a, a moon card for a sun card. That doesn't matter too much, I suppose. All right. Okay, still haven't been poisoned. Let's keep it like that. I almost just jinxed it real badly, didn't I? I got a whip upgrade. Nice, there's the other one. I'm back to full power. And money. More money. Hang on. Not able to read the letters because of the dirt. Some of these signs have very hennicky like hitboxes for checking things. Alright, now let's go this way. Uh, it looks like this is something I have to platform through, but what's over here? Also something? Gems. It really does feel like that, like, they may as well have made the sub-weapons infinite. Alright, so there's another path I could take. Because I almost always have my sub-weapon ammo at 99. Like, the jewels are so plentiful, it's like, why do they even bother? Probably just because that's how other Castlevania games did it? Alright. May as well use the sun card. Make sure I stock, keep at least four of these on me at a time in case I get a level like this later. Oh, is this the exit? Or is it a load zone? Oh no, this is where you're supposed to go. Oh, hi, it's you again. Your feet are clipping into the ground. Did someone take your nose? She's burning. Vampire lady is burning. Stop. Don't be stupid. No. Don't stop me. Reinhardt, after he slaughtered a hundred spider girls, why try to stop me? I am a vampire. Whatever you are. God forbids. <laughs> I have to do it. Even for a vampire. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, even in death, my soul cannot find forgiveness. Rosa. If that's the case, you must kill me. Uh, that's... Why won't you slay me? Are you a vamp aren't you a vampire killer? Is it because of this woman's shape? You can't kill what looks like a girl or child? Um, such a softy. How will you ever stand up to Count Dracula? Throwing away your life for nothing. Best run along now. Well, maybe if your bottom half looked like a spider, he'd be willing to, but... <laughs> what a weird cutscene to put after, like, he slaughters that so many monster girls. So I guess those other platforming paths down there didn't lead to anything? 
Because this is clearly the way forward. I don't want to risk getting poisoned. I'm assuming it's just like extra loot, like uh, meat or something. Castle center. Nice, I reached a save point. Okay, we're looking good. We are back. We're going to go ahead and continue Castlevania 64, everybody. Been a few days, but I had a good time with this, and I really wanted to do some more. Get that. Something weirdly nostalgic about this already, even though I never grew up with it. Let's pick this up. Once again, right C is a very strange button for this, but here we are. Audio sound good. Too quiet, too loud. I'm told this stage is pretty long, so let's see if we can do it. Last time we kind of shifted from a weird, like, mix of a uh, spooky mansion to, like, underground action stage. Doormark Torture Chamber. That's right, I did check that before I saved last time. I don't think I'm gonna finish Reinhardt's story in one ep one uh, session here. I didn't get a chance to upload this yet, but I hope the YouTube audience enjoys it once they start getting to see it. Oh, come on now. Ah, oh, darn it. I'm not too worried about taking hits now, since it seems like it's pretty easy to hoard money and buy food. Yeah, I was saying this towards the end of the last stream, but, like, I feel like the internet has kind of misrepresented this game quite a bit for me. Now that I'm finally experiencing it for myself. Oh, vampires. Like, this game doesn't feel like, you know, like the most amazing thing ever to me, but it's not nearly as bad as people try to make it sound. Okay, we got him. R is... Right, that's right. R is lock on. Yeah, darn it. Let's throw this here. From what people were telling me since last stream, it does seem to be that, like, most people who like this game do kind of say the same thing, where a lot of people on the internet just played the tower section and then gave up there. There we go. Because I specifically remember seeing so many, like, videos that only showed that weird platforming. And that was it. No one ever told me about, like, the chainsaw dude in the maze. That was cool. It's a little crusty, but it's really cool. Can I check this? Jeez, that almost blended in as a wall. Let's have a look. I guess I'm going up this way. This might be a bit of a maze then, won't it? Hang on. I saw a little thing on the wall. Can I check this? Hazardous materials disposal. Hmm. Stuff doesn't really stick out as much as it should, I find. Hold up. Break this. I do like that disintegration effect that they did. Works out way better for early 3D than just trying to have it shatter. Hmm. I keep trying to press the, um... The button I had mapped for Zelda to shift the camera. Nothing's happening. The magic is not working. Oh, yes. The magic-powered science device. My favorite. Do this here. Holy water. Let me check this. I guess to move on, I'm going to have to figure that out. I'm not going to try and rush through this at all. Average to beat a story for the first time is like, what, six to seven hours? I don't care if I take longer. Oh, it looks like a cutscene. It's kind of wild, because we were talking about time mechanics. Ha ha ha. It's not just Majora that did that. Ocarina of Time had its own time mechanics as well, which you use, like, the Sun Song for. They weren't, like, the most amazing thing ever, but for their time, they were pretty good. Just using the Sun Song to do things like, you know, go into Hyrule Castle Market at night. That seemed like an okay use of it. Oh, okay. But this game still felt weird since the only time relevant thing was just that one cutscene I had to find. Seemed kind of awkward. Get that there. Well, I guess I got it. Who, who decided to spill raspberry jam all, ro all over that? That's no good. Hmm. Kind of weird how they have cutscenes to introduce enemies and then they just die in two hits. But that werewolf at the start still had nothing for it. Anyways, let's take a look up here. 
I am definitely down to still play carry story and go through Cornell's in Legacy of Darkness. Again, I have just been toying with the idea in my head of doing a video on this because I feel like there's just so much to talk about. Good, bad, or whatever crust we could say. Is there anything in here? Red jewel. Hidden items are weird. Hmm. I already feel like I'm a little bit lost. There's no mini-map as far as I know. Hold up. Oh! Lizard men are spitting at me. That's great. I can lock on to shift the camera to them quickly. It's okay, it's not the best thing. Great. Hang on. I hope these guys aren't infinitely spawning in like skeletons are. Turn to nighttime again. Great, I'm poisoned now. Are they done? No, they just- they just keep coming out of there. They're just coming out infinitely. That's really cool. So why would I cure my poison if they're just gonna keep coming? Uh, it doesn't look like my health is going down. Pick this up, please. Moon card. Oh, that's not good. I just resumed this, like, uh, like six minutes ago. It just started. It looks like my skin is looking pretty pale. I think I did buy some antidotes just for this occasion. I'm not sure what poison actually does for me, but I should probably get rid of it. Is it this? Cover from poison, drink to rid the body of it. How much did I have? Oh, I found six. Bought a couple for the road earlier. Okay, thank you for the resub there, Adam. I appreciate that. It might not hurt to use a roast chicken as well. Roast chicken leg. Yeah, the the beef restored 80%. This seems good. Let's go back. We're not going to go too overboard today. We're not going to do a massive long stream. Roast beef. The last handful of hours I spent kind of fiddling with that new Ocarina of Time rando. Definitely going to try another seed some other time once I have some better settings figured out. There's a white jewel. I guess it's not... Yeah, it's fine to save here. I just healed up and cured my poison. Save points are sometimes really generous, and then they're just, like, gone for a little bit. Okay, these guys. They look really weird when you see these dudes up close. Red gem here. Red jewel here. I really do not need these. Yeah. What do we got? Damn it. Can't really shift around like this, can I? I got hit by something. Take him out. I'm not sure how you do no damage strats in this game. This doesn't seem like the type of game where it's like realistic to like dodge everything like it feels like to a cer certain extent you're always going to like take some kind of damage from the how the clunky to the combat can feel purifying right i have to hold down to climb but that's not really worth climbing hang on Mmm, guess there's nothing else to pick up, so I guess I'll just go through the door. Damn, I really would like a mini-map, though. Okay, I thought it was done, but whatever. Kind of worth it to grab this. I think it only starts up when I get near it. It's not really timing I gotta do. Hmm. Well, I don't think the monster spider girls ever really got me last time, did they? I'm pretty sure they could probably inflict poison as well, so I didn't want to deal with that. Okay, we'll take some health. I keep pressing 
the Zelda button to swap the camera. It's our button here. And crouch, though. By the way, I did go back on the footage uh, during that tower section. That platform did move without me. Like, I, th that was 100% the game being weird at that point. Uh, no music. What's up? You want to be friends? I can't lock on to you. You okay? I can't lock on to you, so I'm assuming I don't have to fight you? Just gonna walk. Bro, go away. Just gonna walk over here. A device to turn people into demons. Bloodstains are everywhere. What do you mean, device? Dude, it's like a stone table. <laughs> Do I call my kitchen table a device where I consume energy to get me through the day? I wonder if I can talk to you. I am human. I am only this shape because of a curse. You are an adventurer? I will give you some advice. To destroy the wall, you need both magical nitro and mandragora. Place them both in front of the wall. The Mandragora will detonate the Magical Nitro in a powerful explosion. Take this key. You will find Mandragora in the torture chamber. Oh, I have to go all the way back to the start now. You received a key. Hazardous material disposal. So this is a different door. Where's this go? Hey, it's you. There's a save room. Malice, why are you here? I thought you had escaped. This place? Escape? Say, are you going to fight Dracula? Aren't you afraid? Malice? Have you come to avenge my family? To rescue my friends? I swear it. I will have vengeance. I will destroy Dracula. Heh <laughs> Huh? Ah, uh, impossible. Huh? Why? Because you are trapped. You will die like wretches. I should turn it up a little more now. Malice? All living creatures must cons uh, consecrate their souls to the Dark Lord, to the kingdom of darkness where no wretched sunlight comes. Okay. Malice. What are you talking about? <laughs> the lack of voice acting just makes it kind of funny. Dude, what are you talking about? This sounds like just a typical exchange on the internet. Hey, what are you doing here? The Lords of Darkness will take us all to the world without sunlight. Just running will not cause an explosion, but one jump or hit and the story's over. What? No. No, they're not doing this crap. I can't jump or attack. Or get hit. Oh, great. Guess I better make a save. This is what I'm talking about this game, like... Something... Like, every time I get to the next area, something wildly new just kind of comes at me, and it's interesting. Like, I... The devs didn't know what they really wanted this game to be, so they just threw a bunch of random things. And it's kind of... And they're kind of jarringly together. Now that I've picked this up... Hang on. You know what? Oh, I can attack. But if I jump... <laughs> he just went flying. I just wanted to see what happened once. <laughs> that was great. Oh, that was great. Do it again. Oh! Wasted. 
So, so I'm allowed to attack. I just can't get hit, but I can't jump. That was really funny. See what I mean? This stuff right here is just why it'd be so funny for a video. Time to carry that to Dracula. What was the other item I needed? A door nailed shut, no way to open it. This is the thing I need to open, right? I forgot to tell you one thing. There's a seal crest protecting the wall. A wall within the seal will resist the most powerful blast. Alas, I cannot say how to remove the seal. He gave me the torture room key. I guess I have to take the the explosive to the torture chamber at the bottom. Oh, wait, I can't jump? Then how do I get through these things? Oh no. No, 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 no. Okay. One, two, three, four, but they only activate when close. Okay, do this. How's the audio? Still too quiet? Uh, let's not accidentally jump. Mandragora, yeah, he said it was in the torture chamber. Okay, let's go. It means getting hit by an attack, yeah. I'm safe to attack. I guess this is why they have the extra save point. Oh. I'm not allowed to fall to any degree either. That's neat. That's incredibly neat. Um. Do I have to fall all the way to the side there so it's a little higher? Nope. And what the hell do I do here? <laughs> Take the magical nitro. Yes, just running will not cause an explosion, but one jumper hit and the story's over. Carry it carefully. Story's over. Don't want that to happen. All right, let's go over here. So I can't set the magical nitro on that thing. Set. Okay. I guess I can see a crack through the wall there now. Magical Nitro is ready. You need Mandragora for the detonator. So now the door at the bottom will work again. I just walked right into it like chump. Really? Yes, apparently so. Oh, these guys are back already. They weren't respawning a lot earlier. Oh, wait. This door's not working. I think I gotta kill them. Damn it. I wish I had the holy water. At least I'm getting money. Uh, okay, now it's working. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's just go do it. Let's just go do it. This is just funny footage that may or may not appear in a video. This is what I'm talking about. Like, <laughs> this is the kind of thing where you could just write like a big tangent about so many parts. That's the best part of old, like, videos about N64 or janky PS1 games. And over here... Let's ignore these guys. Hopefully the door will work this time. Nope, still doesn't work. I guess I have to kill a certain amount of these. Maybe get one away from me. Nope, the door's still in working. Oh, 
I use the door now? Can I can I use the door now? <sighs> now it works. <laughs> Now we head down over here. I don't even remember what down here even looked like. This was this room. There's the dispose thing. How would I even get stuff here? At least the door worked. Gonna move these gates. I need to go back to the start of the level. That's where the torture chamber was. Yeah. I gotta kill everything. I probably should just use, like, some roast chicken again. I don't... It didn't feel like uh, in the previous levels that you were locked in rooms because of enemies. But even when I killed the enemies when I had the magical nitro, it didn't, like, let me leave before, right? I'm not sure if I actually had to set the Magical Nitro or not, but whatever. That staircase is clearly there to prevent you from leaving, though, for sure. This is giving you Night Cry vibes? I wouldn't- hey. That- that's an insult to this game. No way this is even remotely close to Night Cry. This is nothing compared to finding that random ring in the first chapter that's vital to beating the game. This is not where you ride a motorcycle, buddy. This is it right here. The torture chamber key has been used. Hmm. I'm technically... Am I half done yet? I don't know. There's ten stages total, I believe. Hello. Get rid of you. And this is stage five. Of course, they all kind of vary in length, so... Maybe one more decently long stream would be enough to finish Reinhardt's story. We'll see. Take Mandragora. Obtain the Mandragora. I can jump with this. Oh, there's ghosts here. Crap's haunted. A giant scythe all around. The smell of fresh blood. Who are they slicing? You know, sometimes I'm real glad that I wasn't born in ye olden times when everybody just, like, got slaughtered in some rich person's, like, torture chamber. From what I understand, there were some people back in the day that just, like, had a bunch of those and, you know, did not work out for a lot of people there. Let's go through here again. Some of the coming stages are shorter than the villa in this one, at least. Okay. There's a reason they called him Vlad the Impaler. No TV to pass the time, so they have to come up with other ideas. People were too creative back then. I don't know if creative is the word I'd use for that. What do we have here? I got the Mandragora. Now let's go all the way back up. This is really is a bit of a tedious running back and forth, ain't it? Uh, there was two doors here. I didn't go in this room yet. Uh, don't think I need to. Let's focus on... Let's focus on planting the, the bomb first. How about that? We're almost there. Oh, nice. There was roast chicken there. Take a free heal and just run like hell for a second. Nope. Is it really not going to work? Come on. They're not, like, there, though. Now yeah, they are. No. 
go. There we go. The doors are so finicky for this mission. I can't decide if it wants to lock me in the room with the enemies or not. I, f I swear. Okay, we made it back to the staircase. The broken staircase. There's a white jewel. Will you save up to this point? I'm sure I'm not the first person to assume you're supposed to take the magical nitro downstairs. And I won't be the last. Come on. Okay. I got the upgraded whip, so this should be better. Come on. Dude, why do they suddenly have so much more health? Ah, I gotta have to heal. No use it. Wait, what? Oh, I got hit with vampir vampirism. I can't use healing items like that. Cures of vampirism. Yeah, let me get rid of that. Dude, come on. They they died a lot faster last time, didn't they? My whip is like stronger than that now. You just magically get more HP? No, I don't want the cross. I want my holy water back. That's probably the thing that damaged the more last time, wasn't it? Hold up. Let me hydrate and stretch. You're right. You're right. I gotta take care of myself. The magical nitro has been popping my body apart. Hydration is good. Now, please. Sent Mandragora? Ready for blasting. Take refuge quickly. I did it. I did it. This only took way too long. <laughs> All right. Oh, back feeling a little bit better. All righty. That's open now. Uh... I was facing this way. A door. Nailed shut. Wonderful. Hey, roast beef. Now, what do we have here? Oh, a shop. Nothing inside the statue. I should probably just buy a handful of items here while I can. I actually feel like I have enough, like, healing items, though. Mm. I'll buy one more of these for now. Roast beef, I've got... Nine of these. It's more than enough. I feel like it's the healing things I should get more of, just in case. Purifying, I have six of them. Buy one more just in case, just in case. Here's Curse of Vampirism, Crystal Cleanses the Blood. <sighs> Takes a second to load there. And I'll buy an extra thing for poison. Oops, I bought an extra one there too. I feel like I should maybe buy an extra Sun and Moon card in case they're relevant later. There's not really dropping around. I've got three of them. Now I'll have four. Your menu is locked until, like, he finishes doing his little animation, or it feels like there should be voice acting here playing. Oh, I actually could use an extra sun card. That's more than good enough. Oh, I can skip it with that button. All right, good. Didn't realize that. It's weird. Well, that's gonna help. Okay, I found a library. What am I looking for here? 
The statue of a beautiful goddess, the inscription reads, Blue is the color of Neptune, eighth child of the sun. Magic Nitro cannot destroy the wall until the protective seal is removed. Huh? Some kind of code? Am I supposed to take Magical Nitro elsewhere? Can I check this? No, I can't. Anyways, I see a sun card up there. Let me get that. Gimme. Jump up, please. Now, what the heck do we have this way? What is this? There must be some mechanism you can climb on top. Alright. What do we have here? A secret room. A simple but elegant desk. There are books on astronomy. Looks like I opened this too. What's up? What do we have here? Three statues of goddesses. Oh no. Each made of a different material. The base has an inscription. Arrange the three goddesses under their father, the sun, to release the seal. Line up the goddesses. Yes. Is the gold piece in place? What? What? Is the red piece in place? What, what the hell does this mean? What? The blue piece in place? Okay, I'm just... So I'm picking the spots for this. Nothing happens. Okay. Yellow, red, blue, go in those places. Nothing happens, the pieces are not arranged correctly. Hang on. What did that statue say a moment ago? I can save here. It looks like I gotta do this. There was that bloody statue back at that earlier room. That's why it has a cutscene, so it sticks out to me. So I remember to go back and check it. I want to say that, but I don't feel like the game design was smart enough to figure that out. That seems too smart for this game, I'm sorry. I almost believe that's more of a coincidence than intention. Where's that? Also, what's this? Enormous collection of books on every topic under the sun. What does this say? Everyone get out your notebooks, it's time to help. Statue of a beautiful goddess. Blue is the color of Neptune. Okay, blue eight. Blue eight. Destroy the wall until the protective seal is removed. Let's go check the other one now. They made a map for this place, and they made sure you were going to walk every inch of it. Blue 8. Good. This is the interactive part of the stream. You, get, you be good bears and write down codes for me. <laughs> now that we've done that, that other room that I never checked before, uh, does this not go away? There's nothing here. Well, damn. That probably is where the other statue is. Oh, great. It's you guys again. Oh, I didn't even get a chance to move. Oh, come on. <sighs> Ooh, you scum. Oh. You died in quick hits this time. They definitely had more HP the last time I was in this room. I'm not imagining that. They really did were stronger, weren't they? Yeah, I'm checking the armor. They have items inside them sometimes. There we go. That's right, Teddy Nation. We can do it. I should probably just take these guys out and see if they drop extra money or something. I get my gems back. Wish I still had the holy water, though. Let's 
go. Make sure I make a save again. There's a white jewel. Will you save up to this point? Yes. Data saved. Gems unneeded, don't worry. Okay, we're back to the infinite lizard room. I don't see a statue in here. Just armor. No, they're too close. Ah, I got poisoned. I gotcha. Ugh, what a pain that is. This room is basically just like, maybe you get poisoned, maybe you don't. Hmm. No way to upgrade max health, so at least the healing items stay consistently okay. I can't open it. It was never this finicky before. Like, I feel like the rules of the game just slightly change every level to some degree. Spiders and skeletons in previous levels did not stop me from doing stuff before. Yeah, I guess I gotta get them over here and do this. Yeah, there we go. Battle camera. Work properly this time, please. Ah, see, another one's just spawning in. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Yeah, it won't let me out. Oh, there we go. Now it worked. I don't understand it. Bothering the crap out of me. Okay, now as we head down here, there's that statue. Is there anything to the side here I need to double check? Maybe an extra, nope. Why is there a little thing here? No way for me to get up there. Statue of a beautiful goddess, the inscription reads, Gold is the color of Venus, second child of the sun. Okay, gold two. Everyone write that down. This will be on the test. The high wall can be destroyed using magical nitro. Some kind of code. Keep saying high wall can be destroyed, but what is it talking about? I already destroyed a high wall. It's talking about something else. Next thing I'm wondering is if there was a second path I could take over here. I don't recall seeing. Uh, there was a room I didn't check last time, but I don't remember where the hell it was. Was it past here? No, this just goes back to the start now. Are you serious? Are, are you serious? Okay, I can't open it. These guys gotta die. These guys who don't see me. Oh, I was a little glitchy for a second. Oh, holy water. Good. Get off me, bats. I love the sword. I love how it doesn't hit the things in front of me. Here we go. I could probably just guess what red is, to be honest. But like, I'm just wondering where the hell... Where was another statue though, is the issue. Is this just gonna go back to start? Yeah, this is just going back to start. Unless there's something over here I didn't see yet. Hang on, I didn't go over here. Uh, maybe I should go to that save crystal at the other end of the room first. How about that? Free gems. 
fingers across. I think maybe I should use the roast beef. Been hoarding this for a while. That did not look like 80% to me. That looked like way more. That was more like 95%. Still got hit anyway. And he dropped nothing. There's a white jewel. Will you save up to this point? Yes, I will. The data has been saved. Let me get some water. Let me get some water and take it okay. Everything is okay, chat. You know why it's okay? Because we're almost out of this freaking level. Not my favorite level so far, that's for sure. It just kind of seems like it's making you run, run back and forth for fun. So, the, wait, this must be the seal I need the magical nitro for after I do the thing at the astronomy, uh, astronomy room. I'm guessing this is the boss that comes to life then. I see, I see. There's money in here. And gems and stuff. So this isn't where I need to go yet. Once I deal with the thing at the... St I, I think they expected me to find this room before climbing to the top, but I completely missed it. So next, I need to find that weird gear room again. I don't remember where it was. I think we're almost done, though. I think we're almost done. <laughs> yeah, this stage can feel long for sure. I wonder if that enemy is going to get up when I have the thing to break that seal. Hmm. What do you think? Would that be the case? Where to go but here? Now, where on earth was that other door? Was it this room? Yeah, here it is. The last goddess statue for the red one must be around here. These gears look weird. I don't know why I'm picking those up still. Oh, hey, lizard men. They're alive down there, that's cool. Oh, hang on. I see it. It's over here. And what do I need to go over there for? A statue of a beautiful goddess. The inscription reads, Red is the color of Mars. Fourth child of the sun. Alright. Red four. Everybody do that. A slight shock can cause the magical nitro to explode. Some kind of code. Do that there. Walkthrough, what are you talking about? Writing down, a, writing down a password the game clearly wants you to write down isn't a walkthrough, friend. We got... What are they hiding over here, other than roast chicken? What do we got? I haven't been over here. What do I hear? Oh, hey, you're alive! Oof. Action view. Battle view. Oh, nice. Destroyed him. Well, that one woke up, but what's in here? Anything in here? Oh, 500 gold. I have not seen this room. Where does it lead? I've got the codes now. Oh! Darn it. Thought that would slow them down more by throwing that. Okay, good. Got that.
Guess I used up a little bit of gems there. Oh, hang on, I can break those. That is something I want to carry around with me in case status conditions become annoying. I mean, I feel like it's not too hard to get an excess amount of the status stuff, to be honest. It's kind of similar to the, um, come on. Can I really not break this? Oh, I can stand on top of it, apparently. Weird. I'll break the other ones in the earlier place. Well, that's strange. Now, what's in here? Uh, a blimp? I see meat on top of it. These are towers. What, what are we looking at here? Can I climb it? Yes, I can. That's how I get over there. Ah, I don't think I can reach that, actually. Roast beef is in here. It's not the biggest deal in the world if I can't grab that roast beef off of that. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Carry that with me. Hang on. Shift the camera, please. And one of them televisions right there. This is just Dracula's secret technology stuff. I don't really need to visit the store again. I think I got more than enough stuff. Ooh, nice. Free sun card. Ooh. A device you have never seen. What is its purpose? Yo, radio. 500 gold? Heck yeah. Pays to examine crap here. Maybe I should check these statues as well. Moon card. Check the door. Jeez, I don't understand why the doors are so finicky. These are gonna insta-kill me. I need to- I'm not going up ahead until I save. There's no way. Oh, God. I'm not gonna lose all that progress by getting hit by that. <laughs> no, Dracula has more technology than humans, so... That's why I don't recognize what a radio is right now. Dracula just gets that sweet early access stuff, apparently. What do we got? That's everything here. Really weird that you can just kind of keep going this direction. It seems unnecessary. Why is this here? <laughs> what? Wait a moment. Oh no. I know why this room looks like this. I have to carry the nitro through it, don't I? Oh my god. Oh my god, no. <gasps> oh no. <sighs> oh, I am not looking forward to that. Is he blocking everything? How? Can you even die? I don't know if he can die. The snap means he's taking damage. He doesn't move. I think he's just there to spit at you while you go across the bridge. Oh, God, no. Yep, I'm gonna have to carry the nitro there and go through the spike thing, won't I? Why does this keep getting worse? And worse! Game said suffer. Yes, it did. To the top we shall climb now. Oh, boy. This here. And we climb to the top, and oh, yeah, everyone's favorite game of, uh, will the door work at the other side? Oh, look, it worked this time. To the top! I don't know how the hell it missed that. You know what? I take it back. This is the worst stage in the game, by far. 
This is by far the worst stage in the game. I despise it. I'm getting so much mileage out of this hallway, I tell you. I'm telling you. <laughs> Open it up. Okay, yeah, got him. Oh, more whip upgrades. I finally got another one so I can max out the power. That'll actually be helpful. Kind of wild that I didn't max it out like an eternity ago running back and forth here. Now that I've done this... Yeah, I need to go up here. Everyone get their notes out? Maybe I should just use a roast chicken and buy like two more. And hold more than ten of them. Question the how accurate the percentage is. Get your notebooks out and give me the answers. Like good little bears. Buy an item. Roast chicken. Excellent. Thank goodness I found the skip button for this guy. Now that we've done this... This is one of those playthroughs where, like, I have to upload it to YouTube with, like, no cuts. Because, like, the first time experience of getting confused with this, it's just so, like... It it's its own form of entertainment, isn't it? Kind of eerie how the music stops. When you get up here, huh? Everyone got it? Pay attention, class. The base has an inscription. Arrange the three goddesses under their father, the sun, to release the seal. Line up the goddesses. Yes. First is the gold piece. Gold piece was two. Red piece was four. And blue was eight. There we go. Wasn't too bad, just had to hunt around for it. But we know the stage isn't done. Those thin bridges, we gotta... Oh, we're gonna have so much fun there. You okay? Dracula's got a projector. He knows all about the solar system and everything. What does Dracula need that for? He probably doesn't like Earth very much. Maybe he thought he could leave. His technology was that advanced. I assumed it went there. I'm, I'm honestly surprised it gave me a cutscene to tell me with how this has been going. So now I need to bring the magical nitro to that, but now we've arrived at the same problem that I can't take the magical nitro down the stairs. The broken staircase. There's a white jewel you save up to this point. <sighs> That's great. Here comes another thing to figure out. Where the X is at? I was by the save point. Anything over here? No, we're good. What was the second line of text all the statues had? Blue is the color of Neptune, blah, 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 blah. Magical Nitro cannot destroy the wall until the protective seal is removed. Some kind of code. Yeah, it, it just tells me that magical nitro needs to be used on that. But. 
I wonder if the lizard guy will have anything different to say. I wonder if I'm supposed to take the magical nitro through that other room. No, I can't get down the staircase either, so that won't work. How the hell do I get it there, then? I forgot to tell you one thing. There's a seal crest protecting the wall. A wall within the seal resists the most powerful blast. Alas, I cannot say how to remove the seal. Okay, same thing. So, the only thing I can currently think of is I need to go back through the gear room, past the thin bridges, and get to that spike trap, because there's probably magical nitro there that I have to take all the way back. Because if I try to take magical nitro from here, I get walled at that staircase, and I can't do anything. Here we go. Somebody slammed the door over there. Like that. Unless there's like another breakable door or pathway I'm supposed to unlock. I have no freaking idea. It looks like I missed a money drop. Oh well. There's nothing over here. Yeah. I'll make a save here. This is the staircase where I just can't take anything down here. No change to it. It's just how it is. Hmm. So now when I go here... Uh, this room, yeah. Let's get it over with and get past it. Run, run, run. Here we go. Battle view, please. Even when it goes to battle view, ah, oh, damn it. It's still not the best thing when there's multiple targets here. It goes a lot further than I give it credit for when it's upgraded. Why won't the door work? There's got, there's like no enemy that sees me. There's no way. Let me buy another, pick up another one of these right quick. game insists that there's still an enemy I need to kill. Like, when the door works, it works, it, it'll work just fine, but, like, it just refuses to work because I guess enemies are still a problem. That one's down. Okay, I guess the other one didn't care anymore. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is there has to be... There simply has to be, like, Magical Nitro at the back end of this, and I need to carry it all the way. And I am not gonna like that, I can tell you that. Oh god, <laughs> yep, I'd be dead if I was doing that, for sure. and I can't kill the red lizards I've tried. Like, there's a disposal thing right there, so it has to be back here. It's gotta be like that. Oh, great. You again. Get out of here. I wonder, can I... No, I can't interact with the vase either. Darn, you hit me anyway. The damage is really piling up here, because I can't, like, consistently dodge everybody around here. Hey, money. <sighs> I almost picked up the axe. Oh, God, I did not want to do that. I do not want to take the axe. Okay, here's the technology room. There's a place to buy stuff. There wasn't a save crystal in this room anywhere. Which bothers me. Okay. Go, 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 go. 
worried the door wouldn't work. Okay, now where are we at? There's nothing over here. What's in here? Oh, it's the other side of this freaking room. Because I, I, apparently I can't just step through the shelf. Yep, here we go. Chat, are you ready for the worst freaking delivery quest ever? Might as well be an escort mission. So I can't jump or get hit. <laughs> I have to carry it all the way to the start of the freaking level. No checkpoints the whole way, by the way. I guess my health doesn't matter. I hit the wrong button. I already failed at the door. Let's do it again. I should probably make a save after picking it up. Look, okay, force a habit, okay? Jump in is very useful in this game. Will you save up to this point? Yes, I will. Data been saved. <laughs> What's over there? I'm not sure why I'd go over there. Extra item? Yeah, I don't need that. <laughs> that startled me. I'm sorry, like... <sighs> I have it, right? Warning attached. Danger will explode from slight shocks or vibrations. I have it right now on me, so we're good. I can't even, like, bop the spikes. Are they, like, above me right now? No, okay, good. It would help if the camera could stay. It would help if the camera could stay looking over here. I have to take this side to leave. No, 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 come on, <laughs> come on. Door isn't going to open unless maybe if they're all the way over here. Oh, and because I died, my whip resets to the lowest power level. Isn't that cool? Please work, please work, please work. Oh, thank goodness the door doesn't lock this time. What about the maids? Doesn't look like the maids are here. Ah! That's not fair! He could have just ended everything! Oh! <laughs> My beating heart! Fantastic. So, it looks like it's safe to walk along this wall first. <sighs> can I even use bot uh, battle view for this? I don't think I can. I think I just have to YOLO run for it. If I stop for a second, these guys get me. And I can't kill them. Like... <sighs> the camera does not want to, like, cooperate here. I cannot, like, line myself up to run here at all. There's no way I could walk along that path. That's too dangerous. Oh, man. There is no cheese for this. It really is just that bad, huh? Great. Nope. 
the camera will not even shift here. It's too unsafe to walk across that tiny. I have to take the full length. I wonder if it'd be safer to focus the camera on the lizard so I could walk around what he's doing. No, there's no way. Normal view. No camera. Oh, man, this is... That's unfortunate. We're gonna be here a while, aren't we? We're th this whole stream is just gonna be this freaking level. <laughs> it's gonna be this whole level. So I saved after picking it up. Let's go. Let's go. Keep it to normal view. Okay. That part's not too bad. We have a strat for this. Healing doesn't even matter. If I take one hit, it's just good dead anyway. There's an entire video on just this one level. Of course there is. I don't know if that's like proximity to the door or anything, so let's just get them around here. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. We're all gonna be okay. So this guy just instantly aggros and I have to just run. It's a miracle he doesn't hit me. So there's just nothing I can do. I just have to YOLO it. Whoa, camera. Camera takes a second to refocus itself behind me. Wait a second. But I can't jump, then... No, 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 no! No! Are you serious? Will the gears hitting me make it explode? You have got to be freaking kidding me. Just, like, set it down, Reinhardt, and climb up. Did these really inflict damage and, like, make it explode, or did they just push me forward? I think you can touch it, but I wouldn't test it right now. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't need to test it. Don't need to test it at all. I think it's safe to do so. Okay. Okay. Keep taking it downstairs. Keep taking it downstairs. Just don't jump or get hit once. Everything's fantastic. Now we got an enemy room to deal with. Please tell me the enemies are despawned for this part. I don't think I see them, actually. Uh, uh. Okay, they're gone. Right? 
Does that mean the skeleton biker is also gone? Because I'm worried about that boy bumping into me. Come on, we're almost there. No, I hear it, I hear it, no! No! <laughs> That's unfortunate. Oh, okay. Well, time to do it again. Even if you hit him once, he still freaking, like, rams into you. What do I do? I get a drink. Hold up. Hold up. Time to run through this again. Hey lads, what's up? Remember me? Yeah. Blue oh boy. This is probably good enough. I just need them away from the door so that I can get through the door without them causing an issue. All right, good. I don't think they're proximity based towards it. It seems like the regular vampire enemies just despawn during this part, because even the game knows, yeah, this is kind of unfair otherwise. You can hear him. He's immediately swinging for me. Wait. No! gonna be here a while why why would you do this why would you make a level like this I was so close and the stupid skeleton bike boy got me I was right near the finish line huh Bridges suck. The fact that the part of it collapsed, why? Ugh. The part parts of it collapse and is just unnecessary too. It's like why? Okay. Oh, why did I, I? I'm surprised that didn't make it explode. Those things count as a slope. Jeez. Man. Hmm. Down there. Got stuck on the thing. Now we're back here. Is there really no way to just, like, cheese him with this? Uh... I don't think I can kill him at all. I tried for a while at the whip. Gotta just wait. Focus, focus, focus. No, 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 no. Time the fire there. Okay. Almost there. Alright, so I don't need to worry about the gears killing me. This part is just an extra, like, ha 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 Hope you like this part. You think you could climb up? No. No, he can't do that. That would require pressing the jump button. <laughs> Pretty much just have to follow this gear right here until I reach the exit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
What's left is a skeleton now. I don't think I can dodge the skeleton. I think I just have to, like, throw the holy water and whip him. It might even be better if I had, like, the cross or the axe or something, too. I'm not getting it from there, it seems. Uh... go. Go, 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 go! Come on. We're almost there. <laughs> you stay down. You just don't move. Please. So close. So close. Set the magical nitro? Yes. Oh, thank God it's done. It's done. <sighs> this level is awful. Oh my God. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go save. Don't worry. There's a save crystal right in the hallway outside. I think this level might be all I can handle for the for today. <laughs> oh boy. We're gonna save, then we're gonna get the Mandragora. Go away. Okay, Holy Water worked good for him. I should have tried throwing it at the start. I did it. I know. This definitely feels like the longest level in the game by far, too. I would have been a madman to have attempted it last time, yeah. There's a white jewel. Data saved. All right, I never need to do it again. We're good. We're good. What an annoying thing to program. These guys are here. Isn't there another one? Oh yeah, he's over there. No, I didn't want that. No, pick up the pick up the whip upgrade. Well, I lost my holy water. Oh hey, I got it back. Nice. And my whip is at full power. I think these guys are set to give you full power whip because yeah, because you're about to walk into a boss fight for sure. What was that noise? Well, it's not my problem. Let's run over here. Let's run, and we're good. This is, like, the low- considered the lowest point of the game, right? Once I'm done with this, I don't have to worry about anything worse. Few people were saying that. That was rough, but I did get through it. Now let's just walk to the exit without this thing. Is there something over there? What is this just doing here? Can I check it? Looks like there should be something there. I'm sure that giant corpse in the center will not move. Right? Set Mandragora? Yes. Ready for blasting. Take refuge. Maybe take more refuge.
Amazing. More crystals. Looks like they want me to save at this first. There's a white jewel. Will you save up to this point? Yes. Data saved. Release the magic sealed in the crystal. Yes. The huge crystal emits its magic power. The huge crystal emits its magic power. Whoa, who saw this coming? I can't believe what I'm seeing here. Is that an eyeball in your throat? That's not very good for you. You should do something about that, friend. Uh-oh. I can't believe this is happening. Unbelievable. Yes, I see him, all right. Are we going to fight already? Hi. Hang on. Oh. His attack there just, like, cracked the game. Axe would probably be better for this thing. Okay, the wow, that did a lot. Oh! Well then, I'm just gonna have to deal with this. Hmm. Dude, okay. destroyed his butt. What? What? Is his butt melting? Oh, it is. Okay, yeah. It doesn't seem like holy water is just gonna do crap here. Came back to the laser cow. Yeah, it turns out that mysterious corpse in the center of the room did get up. I'm kind of surprised at how good the camera is for this part. Like, it is perfectly focusing on the boss, and I have enough room, and I can just, like, gauge my surroundings to, like, dodge it. Quite a nice, uh, change of pace here. detail how like different parts of its body just like melt away as you hit it like they clearly spent a lot of effort on this one compared to ah, darn it oh geez did i die oh oh that killed me oh that killed me oh man come on oh, i should probably take the cross from that one dude then huh i thought i had enough health oh wait no I, yeah i saved in here what am i saying i thought it was my save was gonna be outside I should be able to skip the cutscene. No, what am I doing? What am I doing? I gotta hit the crystal again. Release the magic sealed inside the crystal. Yes. Let's do it. I'm definitely gonna have to take a break after this level. Probably... 
Oops. Edit this together with last stream since I didn't get a chance to upload that yet anyway. The holy water does like the damage of a whip hit anyway, so it's not worth it. I don't think the sword will do more extra damage to it. Maybe I can get some hits in faster. His leg can hit me though and cause some annoying damage. that his body can like melt away like during the fight and then you just make it a cutscene. Oops. Alright, time to use the roast beef or something. Oh yeah, it definitely is a good looking effect for the time. Darn it. Tried to jump around him. Oh, come on. If he hits me, like, I can't, like, get out of that. I, my get-up animation's just too slow. Well, I'm sure I can spend money to replenish my food items anyway. I've been hoarding them decently well, I feel, so... I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. Did I... I died again. He hit me with that same combo. Do I just have to keep myself topped up to like full health or something? Thank goodness it has a skip cutscene button. This boss is just brutal? Okay. I feel like if I time... It's all about when I time the jump. Because, like, he's kind of gravitating towards me. But there's a point where that, like, lock-on of his, like, dissipates, I guess. So that's when I want to make sure I input the jump. I'm gonna have to heal, because if he hits me with that later combo, it seems like his attack power goes up when I destroy the body parts. The whip power is down on reset, yeah. It'd be a pain in the ass to constantly go back to the torture chamber just to, like, get the drops over and over. I don't feel like it made that much of a difference in the fight anyway. Let me try. Oops. Yeah, it might, it's kind of like one of those, like, Dark Soul bosses where, like, uh... Yeah, if you're closer to them when you make the dodge attempt, it somehow, like, protects you better. It kind of worked, didn't it? Let me try that again. Try running towards them. Oh, yeah, that is working. I just kind of, like, try to dodge around his head. Oh, okay. Couldn't get around that. Heal up again. Ouch. Oh, no. <sighs> he did it again. Now I gotta use roast beef. I had enough health this time to withstand it, but that combo is ridiculous. Because I... My get-up animation is too slow once he hits me to the ground, so I just have to take the laser. Okay, next part. Oh, no. Yeah, I gotta heal right away. I feel like this is a health check at this point. <laughs> I'm surprised I dodged that, to be honest. Come on. Ah, it didn't work that time. This is the most, like, healing items I've had to spend on a boss. This is definitely was why I needed to hoard them. Worst case scenario, late game, you can farm money. It feels like it was really easy to farm money at the skeletons at the start. 
almost might be worth it in a new playthrough to like farm a bunch of oops farm a bunch of money specifically because it's a lot slower to farm in later parts come on now not sure if those things will i'm not sure if the candles in this room will drop whip upgrades but it might be kind of dangerous to go for them damn it Got it. Okay, I need to curve myself a little bit once he's at a certain distance. Damn it, he didn't turn around fast enough. He's only at, like, just under half, I feel. This boss is definitely making it work for it, though. That's for sure. Wait, is he... Sp he spit poison on me. Crap. By the way, what does poison actually do? It didn't seem like it was depleting my health. Does it lower my attack power like some of the 2D Metroidvanias do? Okay. Farming can penalize you, but it's spoiler. Okay, in that case, don't tell me. I'm sure I'll figure it out, or figure it out later. This definitely feels like the first real boss fight in the game. This is like nothing compared to that skeleton. What were the other bosses? It was like that random vampire before going to the tunnel, too. Oh! Uh, did his health bar just explode? Bro, what the hell was that? Poison hurts periodically, okay. Uh, uh, he had a good chunk of health left, didn't he? Game was just like, ah, we didn't know how to, like, time this. We didn't know how to time the meter. He's dead now. <laughs> Oh, nice. Let's grab a little bit of money right quick. May as well break these. So since I did that, I don't actually know why I needed to destroy that crystal again. Uh, there was nothing at the top. Was there something at the bottom? I can't even remember why I needed to, like, destroy that crystal or something. Or why I needed to turn on the magic. Either way, I got it done. That was a wacky fight, wasn't it? Yeah, no whip upgrades dropping from that. Was there an elevator? I can't remember. Oh, right, that, yeah, that thing in the center, you're right. The, the weird, like, glowy lever. Dude, that was so long ago, I forgot about it. <laughs> oh, great. Imagine dying to that dude. You go away. You go away. We're gonna go save. We're gonna go save. I think we're near the end of the level. We can just go save. Oh, boy. Look at that. This stage took me almost two hours. <laughs> Really? My goodness. <laughs> Get off. Whatever. I don't care anymore. Just go through here. Cutscene. Rosa, didn't I warn you? Leave the castle now. My mission is to seal Dracula in his tomb. Until d until I defeat Dracula, cannot leave. I forgot a word, so you are determined to take the Count's life. What? It's him! What? Hi, hi Death. The foe of the Count is an enemy to all vampires. Die! Rosa! I don't want to fight you. What? 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 Why are we doing another boss fight? Why are we doing another boss fight, game? I want to meet these devs, and I want to show them a dictionary, and I want to show them what the word pacing means. Oh, okay. 
Okay. Just getting knocked around. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go. Beating this tonight? Oh, hell no. <laughs> hell no. I thought maybe this level would be quick, and I could just edit it together with last stream since I haven't put that one up yet, but nah. Hang on. This is this level alone is probably going to be long enough for its own stream part. Ah, darn it. You're not even flinching from stuff. Hey, damn it. Doesn't seem like the sword matters too much to you. I can't even jump around that stuff. I need all my healing items for this. Yeah. Holy crap. Okay. Maybe I should have got the whip upgraded. Damn. Yeah, whatever. That did not touch me. Yeah, the game was pretty rushed, wasn't it? From what I understand. Isn't that, like, the whole reason Legacy of Darkness, like, exists? Because the devs, like, had to cut so much from the game? Hmm. Yes, exactly. Okay. Still playing them back-to-back -back for the full experience, though! Whatever. Trying to dodge you is a mistake. Just, just die already. I get it sometimes, and sometimes not. Did I do it? Please, finish me. Rosa, I didn't mean to. Yes, you did. I cannot stand this agony anymore. A cursed soul doomed to exist forever as a vampire. It was the curse of Dracula that made you a vampire? If you survive, be sure to tell my parents. Even unto death, I never fully lost my human soul. Rosa. Rosa! Still youthful as a vampire, she could not bear to kill you. But in time, her curse will deepen and take stronger hold. I shall enjoy watching your next encounter. Ho 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 ho! Good golly, how exciting. Alright. That cutscene transitioning to gameplay looked a bit, uh, a bit awkward, but we did it. So we're done now, right? I, I can go to the elevator. I can go to the elevator now, right? We can just we can just go to the elevator. There it is. It's an elevator, and I can use it. Where's the switch? The mechanism to operate the elevator. Do you wish to operate the elevator? Yes. Powerful magic is operating the elevator. We're out. We're out, right? Holy moly. Oh, oh no, it's it's still going. There's a save point, though. There's a white jewel. Will you save up to this point? Yes. Data saved. So, it doesn't look like I'm taking that path. What do we have over here? Ghosts. Medusa heads. No, 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 no. Okay, it fully healed me. That must be the end. Duel a tower. Oh, hold up. Oh. 
I'm right into it. We're doing another boss fight already? Fine, let's go. Let's go! Let's just go right over the two hour mark, why don't we? What? Oof. Hang on. I can't really aim the holy water with the way the camera like wants to lock onto this guy. Seems like this is a whip-only situation. Can't even quite tell what I'm looking at. Hold up. Devs wanted the game out in 99, but Konami forced them to have it ready for Christmas of 98. Yeah, Christmas is a big deal for a lot of dev releases. And if I just hop to the side and hit him. Wait. Is the ceiling coming down while we do this? I didn't even notice that until now. It is, just, ba just barely. gonna stop. Let me get out. Oh boy. All right. Mm. They lost like an entire year of dev time from what I understand. Ugh, it sucks. People don't even know what 3D games are supposed to be like yet and they're like, hey, what if you had one less year to make this? Kind of a shame. I make the jump. How long is Dual Tower as a level? Kind of curious. Ooh. No! No, 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 no! It's unfortunate. I fell. Ooh. Great. Fantastic fun time. We just gotta keep doing it. You miss a jump, do it all again. This part of the game just forgot that it gives... Let's see. Yeah, that worked. I was able to dodge a lot of damage from him that time. Pick it up. There's just no way around it. You gotta deal with it like this. And now we climb again. We're gonna have fun. Hold down the button to climb up. Get ready to jump. Let me get to the brighter spot at the edge. Camera change like, just makes no difference here. I don't know what it's supposed to do. Wow, hitting him point blank with that helped. Damn. I just feel like my whip is interrupting that a bit. Roast chicken. We did it. We can do this. Climb up. It's so easy to just miss a jump and then everything's ruined. Okay, I made it up to this part now. Okay, there's the high one. Uh-oh. Okay, getting ready to jump. There it is. Camera almost hides it from you, too. Jeez. Hang on. It looks like there's something down there. Is there a save point? I don't think there'd be. 
I don't see a safe way to climb back up, but it looked like there was something down there when I fell. <gasps> what? I can't reach it from there? Oh my god, come on. How can I not reach that? How else am I supposed to land there? Are you serious? Man, I might have to cut out some attempts in the up YouTube upload after all, won't I? Let's go. Let's go. Okay, got him quickly. We just gotta believe. We just gotta jump. That's really- I've been trying to make this jump for like 20 minutes. <laughs> and the game refuses to let me get it though. But like, I got it yesterday, so I pulled up the footage to, to like actually make sure you can make that jump, just barely. And apparently I got it first try. It's the third duel with the like the werebore or something. Okay, let's jump. We can do this. We can do this. Everybody just hold up a plushie for moral support. Ooh. Okay, I got the stun lock with the werewolf. Let's, let's go. Look at him go. Oof. Don't want to save state. I can do it. I can do it if I believe. Wait for these things to go. Climb up. I've come this far. When I play carry story, this just means I'll have training. Haha. -ha. I thought for sure I was gonna land into the spiky thing for a second. So this jump right here is possible. Like, I pulled up footage to confirm I've done it before. I did it yesterday, but it does not look like you can make it. Oh, just barely. Just barely. You gotta, like, jump right at the edge. Fighting these guys seems way easier if you just spam the, ho the, the holy water in their face. Trying to dodge and jump around them just doesn't do anything to me. Okay, I took him out. So, it was after, just after this part that I died yesterday, and then I was like, oh, you go all the way back, and I was not a happy moment. Luckily, I found out the speed strat for beating the, uh, the bosses there. Just throw holy water in their face, and they just cry. Trying the dodge is just not working. Okay, we jump over here. Oh god, okay. So there's multiple of these. Am I supposed to... Hold up, what's up there? No. Got Reinhardt. There's nothing up there. I think they want you to try and climb up it. To, like, get a better view of this. But, like, you'd have to climb it from behind. Because I don't think you can go in that opening from back here. Since that one's, like, in front of that. I don't know why I jumped there, but who cares? Let's go. <sighs> yeah, I knew I could make it. I haven't made it this far. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is the thing from the start of the game. Wow, he's nothing. He's nothing. We dabbing on these moments. I'm at full. Uh, looks like I climbed this. I thought I wasn't going to grab it again. Oh, boy. Please climb. Oh, I thought he was going to fall. How long is the next level, if anybody knows? Wait. Uh... Uh-oh. This is another one. I just have to make the jump, huh? Hang on. Will action view help better here? No, camera. Over here, please. Oh, 
Oh, I was just far enough, far enough in. Whatever, whatever, you're fine. You're fine. Come on, please tell me this is the end. Please tell me. It's the end of the level, I healed. I did it. You get one save point at the start. Ho <laughs> ho yes. Well then, I got through that faster than I expected. Because, all right, I wanted to play this for about an hour or so tonight. Let's see if how, how I fare for this. Wow, more fun. Sorry, did someone mention how long this is? Let me get a drink of water. I did save with the white crystal just now. Yeah. All right, we're good. Oh, the game is lagging here. I don't think the game can handle its lava effect very well. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh no. Oh dear. You're seeing this, right? This is just the speed the game has decided to run at now. <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, this is I definitely want a platform like this. It's a little better over here. Hang on. Will killing you speed it up? I think it's the lava effect, specifically. Because I've seen more objects and textures in other places before. Uh, oh no, do those retract? Oh no, 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 no. Hang on, try action view for this. Are y'all ready? I can't really say how long a level is anymore at this point. Because some of them require... Oh boy. Some of them, like, require multiple attempts, even if they're short. Come on. Action view is not helping here. Try normal view. The camera keeps trying to, like, flip through the wall. Medusa heads in 3D. This is not what I needed. When I finally play Lament of Innocence... Okay. When I finally play Lament of Innocence... I'm gonna be so happy to be playing a better game, first of all, but I feel like there's no way Castlevania in 3D could be done any more annoying. Chat, did you see that bat coming when I made my jump? I don't think I didn't see that bat. All right, let's try again. Try again. I know I'll go this way first, at least. Go, speed racer. Go, speed racer. Let's go. Again, it is very... This game still has, like, a lot of cool stuff in it, but, like, my goodness. It definitely is, um... There's a lot to say about it. Yeah, I can say that, yeah. You remember the one time that the time mechanic was relevant for that Rose Garden cutscene? And that's why that clock is still ticking away in the corner of the screen. They sure did do a lot with that, didn't they? Okay. I hear that Curse of Darkness is a good improvement over Lament of Innocence, but I'm still going to play that one first. Okay. Who knows, maybe they'll make good videos too. I see the bat up there now. My HP bar was blocking it before. No! How the hell do I get up in time? Do I just have to, like, make the jump in a way where I just land and don't have to grab? Because... If I have to grab, the bat has enough time to hit me, and there's just jack I can do. He, and he's too far away to hit with, like, the axe or something if I have that. Okay, let's go through the slow zone. What? Oh, that's cool. Man. I feel like we need a death counter now.
Let's all go over here. Bump, 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 bump. I will still take this over the previous level. No, I, I still think the Magical Nitro was the worst by far. When I play as Carrie, at least I will be prepared. I think that's how I should title these, like, uh, as the Reinhardt and Carrie playthroughs. Alright. See that bat. Oh god. Okay, I made the jump. I can do it, but if I have to grab... Oh, jeez. Yeah, you literally have to land, because if you grab, you just die. Because the bat gets you. Okay, I made it. What's this? Can we jump up here? What else is next? Is that a- is that a whip grapple thing over there? Please tell me it's not. Please tell me they did not implement that into this game. I hope it's just a random decoration. Yeah, it's a random decoration, thank god. I did not want to even imagine whip swinging in this game. Both have to do the nitro puzzle, yeah. I wonder, is it actually easier to walk, like, through that part as Carrie? Because, like, isn't she, like, uh, shorter? I imagine she might be a little easier to control. Maybe she's slower. Can't get this guy. The lag is getting me here. It's one of those 3D levels. Uh-oh. Hang on. I needed that normal view. I don't understand what... I think action view is intended to be for platforming, but... Oh, God. I thought I was dead. But... It seems like... Wait, is... Save point? Okay, I thought it went back to the start for a second. They actually gave me a save point. I'm surprised. Let's save. Holy crap, let's save. Okay, there's spikes over there. What's up here, though, if I climb? There's two paths to take. Heck yeah. Everybody post a cheer bear. Looks like this is locked. I need to get a key to get out. Huh. Door mark, Tower of Execution, it is locked. I'm in the Tower of Execution, though. Yeah, it's not the stream lagging. The game just absolutely cannot handle this part all of a sudden. Do you think they put so much stuff in here and it's not popping out properly? There's a red skeleton. Remember those bomb skeletons that they showed, like, once, and then they were just not a thing anymore? Oh, he's just getting down. There's nothing over this way. I need to just make sure he pisses off. So I gotta get something from this path, and then go all the way back to use the key. There's that hook again. I don't think I'm supposed to do anything with that. Didn't seem like my whip could interact with it. Oh, that one wasn't there yet. It's okay. It's okay. I I hit a save point. I hit a save point. Hold up a sec. I didn't take the spike path yet. What's over here? Can I not hit this? Doesn't look like I can. Is this just a dead end? Really? Oh, I can break these. Okay. Can't break the candles, but I can break these weird wall ornaments. I guess I'll just break them and go save again. Kind of weird they put this here. Ooh, nice. 
this game really switches between being like really generous with the save points or being like really cruel about it the last level literally didn't have a save point the the save point was like at the end of the previous level before i entered the dual tower that room with the medusa heads that drove me a little batty I'm going so slow. Okay, there's the skelly. Ow. That was very rude. It's like I'm playing in slow motion. Because I am. So... It looks like they're all going to start going out at the same time, in a way. So I have to start going as soon as the first one pops. Because I'm on a time limit at that point. Crap. Uh-oh. No, no, no! My head got stuck on the ceiling. My head got stuck on the ceiling, and it just, like, stopped my momentum completely. Okay. Not sure if this is another short level or not. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. We gotta do it for the teddies. If not for the teddies, who else? Konami? I don't think so. Okay, I see it coming. I am running for my life. Just a slight jog. Die. I know what to do for this part, but the ceiling got me that time. No! He didn't stop. He tried to stop, and then he just slid off anyway. <laughs> this game doesn't, like make you grab ledges when you're too close to the edge you just fall off even if you're holding a hmm. this de this game is definitely all over the place for sure it's interesting because of that for sure yeah let's run Every level almost feels like a completely different game in a way. Maybe that's a bit of a stretch, but like... No, it really isn't. Like, just look at the frickin' Vila. Compare that to, like, the castle center. So, I have to jump to the first one as, it's, as it starts popping out. I'm gonna drink a water while we wait. Oh, I boshed that hard. No, it's falling. Ah, damn it. They're desynced or something now. Come on. No, camera. Hang on, I got it. I got it. I need to wait for it to extend. Yeah, that right there blocked my head. Oh, I did it. Wahahaha! <laughs> That scared me for a second. I didn't know how I jumped like that. I thought I was going to fall through. Did I do it? Am I free? No, I'm stuck. Get up. Get up. Okay. Get up. Get up. Get up. <laughs> Where are you? You got a problem with me, buddy? You got a freaking problem with me? Just get your ass out of here. Hang on. Is there, like, a save point nearby? No, there's nothing on this path. There is... Magical electricity on these bars. I don't think I should touch them. Oh, boy. I hope there's another save point. No, there's not another save point. I gotta go through the center tower again. The key's here? Why is it in a random freaking breakable... Does that mean this is where I climb down? Maybe this will be a shortcut if I go over here. 
Hold up. What's over there? Is that another bone dragon? Okay, I got a little too close there, didn't I? I think I need to go over here. Well then, that's unfortunate. Anything to drop? I'll take the money. 500's not bad. Ooh, Iron Maiden. Yeah, that's what those things are probably supposed to be. Am I able to turn that off or something? There's a way up, but... Wait. Huh? I reached the end of the level. So what's the key for? It's not for progress, apparently. It's probably just for bonus items or something. This game doesn't have anything like alternate endings or whatever. Does category still say Pokemon? Oh, does it? There's a shop here. Hold up. Hold up. I yeah, I know what it's for. The 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 thing with the padlock earlier in the level. I'm j I just thought that was the end where I needed to go. Does category say Castlevania for you guys? Good. I thought maybe I didn't change it for a second. I might, I might need you to just refresh. Alrighty then. Let's check this. I guess I made it through that tower relatively quickly. Let's buy some roast beef. Why not? Give me eight of those bad boys. And... Jeez, 2,000 for that, sure. That should be good enough for now. Now let's make a save. There's a white jewel. Game saved. I wonder if there's a boss fight coming up. So, what's this? Doesn't look like I can interact with it. Can't do that. Let's have a little look over here, I suppose. Oof. Damn! Looks like we reached the death fight. This might be a good place to call it if I can finish this. <laughs> Wretched cur, I will slash you to pieces. Ow! You got hit. This is the end! Oh no, she protected me! Thank goodness for our chemistry we had this whole time. Have you forgotten your blood, girl? You would give your life for him. Rosa? Why? Your heart is strong and pure. You can defeat Dracula. As long as he, is, he exists, the horror continues. No one deserves my fate. Have no fear. I will kill the Count. Good. Ah, I fear death. My sinful soul cannot hope for forgiveness. God of compassion, forgive her. Father, forgive us our sins and lead us into it eternal joy. Well, he's forgiven you now. <laughs> ah, oh, I guess she's dead. It's a good thing he did that. Now we know she went to heaven. <laughs> but you, you I can never forgive. <laughs> vampire killer, you mourn a vampire's death? This is not the anger of a vampire killer. This is the rage of all humanity. Bum bum. Damn, that's a, that line goes hard. 
I've heard this music before. Bum, bum, bum. Is this like boss music from Castlevania 4? Or something else? It sounds so familiar. No, it's from Rondo of Blood, isn't it? It's definitely, that's where that first jingle comes from. How do I hit him? Maybe I should have picked up an axe. Bro, how do I hit you? Come down. If I can beat him, this will probably be a good stopping point for when I edit together yesterday's session for this. Okay. Oh, I got hit anyway. Ah, there goes my chance. The whip can't really reach him. Hold up. Oh, finally. Come on. That did nothing. What the hell is he doing? I can just barely... Oh! That lagged the game a little bit. I really wish I had an axe right now. The holy water cannot freaking hit him. <laughs> Get up. This is going to be a long fight. At least the camera stays locked onto him like that giant, like, uh, behemoth thing. Ooh, double hit somehow. I kind of just have to jump and hope the whip, like, gravitates towards him. It's definitely awkward. Ugh. Okay, I should probably use a heal. He's always moving, so he's gonna move out of the lock-on for that. Whatever. Seemed better the sacrifice getting hit, so I can hit get him. Like, he's always moving, so he's just getting out of the way when I do launch the whip. Slowly but surely, I'm taking his health away. I wonder if he's, like, immune to the axe or cross, though. Because I feel like they'd be, like, way make this way easier. The holy water just doesn't even seem to hit him when he's on the ground. Uh-oh. Well, I should probably use roast chicken again. I'm gonna try and save the roast beef for the other parts next time. Because it's more expensive. Uh-oh. Seems like... Oh, okay, I can just barely get him there. Do I still have... No, my whip is at level one. Damn it. No, there's no way this will really do anything. He's just too high up for it. Ah, damn it. Those really do a chunk of damage if they get you. Damn it. Ah, oh, that's annoying. <sighs> Got him. Damn it. I have to heal again. Once you get, like, a few stages into this game, it really does kind of feel like you just have to, like, out-heal your... the boss fights more than, like, play them well. It's more just, like, jumping around and hitting them than it is, like, skill, I feel like. Almost got him. Sometimes the whip will gravitate towards the scythes, too, which doesn't help. I got him. Ugh. Scum of a Belmont.
back to your dark realm. Soon I'll send Dracula to join you. Ugh. Cocksure youth, I'll wait for you in hell. Be sure, I will keep a warm place for you. All right, I guess he's dead. Only two levels to go until the game is completed now. Really? Oh. How long are the next two levels? I didn't expect to go this far, to be honest. <laughs> kind of just started breezing through a bit. Hang on, did I just go back down to here? I did. Probably a good idea to make a save. Do these respawn with anything new? There's an axe there. I really should have taken that. Make a quick save. Oh, hang on. Is that open now? It is. I'm supposed to go this way. Okay. I'm back, everybody. We're going to see if we can finish this off now tonight. Just get set up. There we go. I forgot what I mapped B button to. So, last time I reached the last stage here. Yeah, this was the, that's what this is. The clock tower. Now, unfortunately, I have learned that there's both a bad and a true ending. Uh, quite a bit too late. Apparently, it's based on how many real... Or, sorry, how many in-game days have passed by the time you reach the end. And I have no idea how many have passed, so... I guess I'm just gonna have to get what I get... I'll probably have an easier time going for a true ending when I do Carrie's playthrough. Darn it, I fell. I gotta get used to movement in this game again. Last time I played, I had to do, like, the really rough parts. Oh, that's... that That's instant kill. Oh. Oh, that's instant kill. Let's, let's go back and try again. <laughs> oh, boy. Yep, we're we're back to this again. Let's see if we can do this. You can do like six hundred more days to overflow it back to zero. I honestly can't tell if you're memeing or not, or if that's a valid strat. Oops, I would just have to leave the game on for that a bunch a bunch of time. I'm gonna be careful. I'm told that this stage could be a bit rough. So I shouldn't have tried to finish it last time, which is fine. Okay. No! Darn it. I thought I was going to grab the ledge, so I was still holding forward and up. Or sorry, A and up. Let's go again. It would just be faster to replay. Someone did figure out you have to do around 600 days to overflow it. That's really interesting. I looked like I should have grabbed the ledge, not stand on it, but okay. So this is a bit of a wacky climb here. But either way, I have actually really enjoyed my time with this game. It's one of those game playthroughs that you like because it's just so strange how it can go from interesting to bad back to interesting again. Oh yeah, something else that I have learned that I'm sure that maybe the comments will probably be posting this as this video goes on. Oh. Apparently... At nighttime, the vampire enemies have more health, so that explains why sometimes they were tankier. I prob this probably is just going to be uploaded as one giant thing after all. You see, it is locked. Oh, okay. Hit that there. I've been saying that throughout this whole time, but it probably performed best if each character just had that one chunky upload for themselves. Legacy of Darkness is longer, though, so we'll have to see about that. I think I need to go down there. <sighs> oh, boy. This will be my way back. Is that it? Oh! Good thing I checked that. I thought it was going to be out in the open. It's like, what, the fourth or fifth key that's just randomly been inside that? I have been making notes. I might actually make a video on this. 
assuming I don't actually get sick. I kind of feel like I have a cold coming in. Kind of on and off, been playing this in small chunks for like the past two weeks. Excellent. We can make a save, so this is progress. Yeah. Usually I have just been lately making the Castlevania uploads one gigantic thing. Because they perform like way better that way for sure. These are definitely the type of games that like, it seems like my audience just wants one giant VOD for it. Oh, and see that as an enemy. Okay. Get that there. Why does my whip keep going over there? Oh, those are spikes. I gotta watch out. Every Castlevania gotta have that annoying clock tower state. Okay, then. Didn't think I missed that jump, but all right. Let's do it. We just had, like, a lot of fun playing Pikmin 2 for, like, four hours, and I thought maybe we could just ruin that by playing this. Yeah, this is the room. At least the save points are kind of generous again. Hang on. I probably should get that red jewel over there because I burned a lot of jewels. Oh, hang on. Burned a lot of jewels when I was, um... Hang on. Doing that dueling tower part. Well then. I was going to go back and save, but maybe I shouldn't now. I s is that a key over there? I think that's a freestanding key. Okay, he's just enough in the range there for me to get that. Uh-oh. Nice. Okay, climb. Uh, there's a reason this level's on the harder side. You miss one jump and it's near death. Okay. Like that! <laughs> I th thought I could reach it, but I missed it. The dueling towers was quite annoying last time. No, this is where I entered from. There was, like, one jump that I could not make, and I had to, like, go back to the, the footage of the last time I was playing because I could swear that I could make the jump, but apparently you can just barely make it. I should grab the money and stuff and just, um... Oh. I fell. The depth perception is also not helping me here, that's for sure. Let's go. We can do this. It's just the final level and then the final boss, apparently. We can go pick that up. I've noticed something. The, there's no camera views anymore. The bottom left corner is empty. They didn't even try to, like, have, like, different camera modes for this part. I wonder why that is. Hang on. Now that I've picked up all the stuff and I haven't taken a hit, I'm just gonna go back and use the save point. That here. There's a white jewel we you save up to this point. Let's do it. Data has been saved. Okay, camera. Reminder, I can't adjust the camera anymore. I don't think... Will these enemies respawn on each load? I have no idea. But... Ah, darn it. That still got me. Hold up a sec, actually. Okay. What's over here? Oh, it's just more holy water. I don't need to worry about that. Platforming in this game definitely feels awkward. It is definitely one of those aspects where you can definitely just say, yeah, early 3D game. That's why it feels weird. The worst of it by far was carrying the explosive across the thin bridges. So... Can I even jump out of there? Like, the ceiling's too low. No, okay, the, the ceiling's low only at the exit for it, I see. So I can't jump out of that opening. If I try and grab that, I'm just gonna get hit by the spikes and fall down. Hmm. But I'm not confident I can make that back, but I have to try. 
No! I... I can't fully tell if that, like, one shifting gear is too high up or not. Whatever, I saved after picking up the stuff. Do they come back? Yeah, they do. Do the items? No. It might be best to just run by them then and experiment with this part. Damn it. I picked up the items. We can just run by. We're fine. We're fine. We waited to continue this on another day. So that specifically, I didn't have to get impatient. Yeah, it looks like that one gear is too high up after all. Okay. I might just have to leap to that other platform, but that also looks like it's too high. It's the same height as this. There's no way I can reach that, the door directly. I think I have to jump for the spikes, but that doesn't... Wait, no, the spikes look like they're... That gear looks like it's higher up than that. Holy crap, I can make it. Just barely. Thought the spike hitbox would hit me while climbing anyway. Okay. I made it. The clock tower key, too, has been used. This section is very trolly. You're telling me. Let's do it. Oh, dear. The game wants you to play with its own special camera angles for this part. Okay. I can't see what's down there. Do I have to leap for these? There's no way for me to adjust. I can go first person view and like, but it all, it's always gonna snap back to the, the cinematic camera apparently. Ooh, I don't like this part at all. I made it. Camera? Okay, I don't want that. Damn, that was a good first try. How am I going to blow it? Buying the sun and moon cards are useless because apparently the main thing they do is make you end up sp spending too many days and then you get the bad ending. So somehow they ended up being even less useful than I thought. I feel like I wasted too many days trying to get the, um, the 3 a.m. lady to appear because they said dawn. And yes, I am still upset about that because they said dawn and dawn is not 3 a.m. It never will be. Okay, that's the axe. All right, there you go. He finally hit it. So this is a bunch of sub weapons. Is there nothing down here? I thought it was supposed to go down here. Uh, I think I need to get up there because I came in through that way and I climbed down. Yeah, I think I need to go this way. Okay. Just gonna be rough after all, huh? The camera is shifting this way, so it's kind of another hint to go this way. Nice. What's this? Another key? But I didn't see a locked door anywhere. Uh... Was it all the way at the top of this room? Uh... Was it on the bottom somewhere that I missed? I can't see anything. Come on. I don't think there was a door at the bottom. I'm just making sure of that. Nothing behind here. Am I just supposed to climb back up? Maybe there was a second route I can take to go further up instead of going down. That's all I can think of. These are clearly designed for me to, uh... <sighs> that feels so finicky. Is that the door? Or is that where I came from? No, I think I entered the middle and I need to climb up here. 
I don't see anything, but it's probably beyond that stuff over there. I'll just have to go for it. No! Oh, okay. That was not what I was aiming for, but I made it. It doesn't feel like it's. I'm gonna snap to it every time I do it. Every time I go for it, it doesn't feel like it. Looks like I gotta jump over there now. <sighs> Boy. Looks like I need to go up that way, but what's up here? <gasps> no, not okay. What's this? Oh! That's where I need to go, isn't it? <sighs> go, go, get up, get up, get up. I made it! Holy crap, I did that whole room in for one try. The clock tower key three has been used. Holy moly. Oh, camera's back. I reached the staircase. Is there a secret in here to find? I'm not sure if they put it in this one. This is... Wait, am I actually going to the final boss now? God damn, it's been 15 minutes. Wow, I would have done this last time, actually. <laughs> uh, there we go, it's working. Well, it turns out I I was expecting this to do like an hour, an hour and a half of that stage. But I did just do that on the first try, like I just bragged about, so yeah. See if I'll get the true ending or not. I have been waiting for this. At last, we reach the climax. I have come to take my leave. Yes. News has arrived of an impending global war. The death of millions is wonderful business opportunity. A wonderful business opportunity. I assume he means WW1, don't he? I must be gone. We shall not meet again. Not during your lifetime, anyway. I don't even get to shop one more time. He's just like, yeah, you can't talk to me ever again. Did he really need an outro? I guess he did. If you spend too much money at the store, he shows up as a boss there. Really? If you spent 30k in gold at his shop, he tries to kill you. Let me pause so I don't waste time. Ha! Huh. That's interesting. I don't know how much I actually spent in total, but... See it easily hitting that. Hit back, please. There we go. So they just punish you for buying too many healing items. Damn. There's nothing in here, apparently. Hang on, I want to double check that there's no, like, gem in the corner for me to use. Did he ever warn me about anything like that at the start? Nope. Oh, boy. What a way to reward his most valued customer, huh? He tells you you didn't read the fine print. Okay. Make another save, then. He warns you in vague lawyer speech. I wonder if I should go for that intentionally with Carrie, but maybe I'll just do another playthrough for footage. So this is it. Wow. Got done. I did get the true end. In that blank room, the vampire hunter from stage three would show up as a boss. Oh! So you're telling me by complete accident, I did everything right for the true end. Ho 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 ho. Is Santa here? Nice. 
Worm, you dare oppose the power of darkness. Is it death you seek? I'm just an absolute gamer today, apparently. Guess I'm gonna need to get footage by intentionally playing bad next time. Ugh. Hi, how's it going? As you wish. Come, I will tear you limb from limb. So I guess you never want to use the sun or moon cards ever then. Oh, hey! Dance of Illusion! No boss view? Let's get him. Ah! Get off me. It's not exactly tied to card use, but using cards it increases time. Hold up. I think I didn't spend too much money. I'm surprised no one, like, spoiled that for me. The stuff about the shop, I mean. Okay, I got ducked the second one. This might take a while. Ah, come on. He gets health back when he does that, too. Oh, man, this is gonna take a while. Hold up, I need to adjust the volume. No problem. No problem. Can't hit him after that second one. Ah, damn it! Okay, I gotta back hop every time. He's not taking damage now. Am I hitting him? Ah, damn it. Hmm. Let me use this here. We can do this. Everybody raise your plushies, post your teddies, and give me good luck. Or else. Oh, damn it. Am I, I... Have I even done a sliver of health to him yet? Because he's not taking damage. Is it like Castlevania 1 where I have to jump and hit the head, maybe? Might be that. yet. Yeah, it is. Okay. The body's immune. I just gotta hit the head. Damn it. It's kind of awkward to have an opening to do that, though, to be honest. Ah, damn it. I got hit. That's the case. We'll do this. Put myself at full health. I can't even turn around. Ah, uh, he, you were getting too much back from that. That's disgusting. Piss off. Get out of here. So I just can't get at him when he does that because that locks on to me. Oh, that's great. Nope. Ugh, you just have to be ready to run away from it at all at the at the start. I don't I don't turn around midair fast enough. It might be better to just restart this for sure. Come on, finish me off, bro. There you go. You dead. Let's head back in. This is gonna take a little bit because it definitely seems a bit crusty. Okay. No losing now. 
Check the battle view. Okay, run away from this. The openings for hitting his head are very awkward because I can't, like, turn midair properly. Why is it locking onto his projectiles? Darn it. Ah, great. Damn it. Come on. Lock on to him, please. I can interrupt his attacks if I land it perfectly, but that's difficult to do. This is very tricky. Damn it, missed my chance. What do you get? Damn it. That does a lot. Damn it, turn around, Reinhardt, for God's sake. What are you doing? Okay, I hit him. Oh, crap, that's what he's doing. I just have to kind of risk it and go for it. That seems to be the best play. Oh. He just shrugs it off sometimes, though, which is annoying as hell. Hang on. Jeez, I need to turn it down. It's still really loud right now for me. Take this. This is where all the time is going to be spent, isn't it? Oh, he still launched his attack. It seems like trading blows is probably the best bet anyway. I like hit just below his chin instead and it's like, no, that doesn't count. Oh wow, I just barely ducked that fire like a pro. I gotta just, like, be right in his face and face him exactly... No, that's not fair! Oh, lame. That's so lame. He can't just, like, freaking take health back like that. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, you can skip the cutscenes, thank goodness. He was immune when he did that pose. I can't be too close to him. Because, like, if he does that, like, vacuum attack, it... And he sucks, like, my neck, and then bam. No, don't do that. When he grabs me, he's gonna drain health back, and it's not worth it. Oh, just barely got out of that. That was bad. Oh, nice. Okay. I'm learning, like... I'm learning the timing here. It's This is a very difficult fight, for sure. I have to be very patient, because it's gonna take a while, and if I mess up badly, he's gonna take health back. Where you at? Ah, come on. You were supposed to duck, you idiot. Oh, wait, what? You can drop healing items out of your fire? That's random. Other enemies can't do that. I still hit him. Worth it. Ah. Oh, well. With how the other boss fights were going, I, I can't really say I expected anything less here. Nice. Ah! You know what I just realized? I can now put true ending in the title of this VOD and get extra clicks from that. Thank goodness I'm such a great gamer for this. Ah, yeah, if he's, if he's like looking down at that one frame of animation or frames of animation, I can't hit him anymore. His head becomes invincible. It's kind of awkward. Ooh. I don't think... Okay. I don't think the sub-weapon's gonna do much here. Ah, damn it. I got hit. Alright. 
Can't be too close, but I can't be too far away in case he does this attack. The sun and moon doors are basically traps, yeah. Those two doors that are just at that one point. Again, that's cool and all, but I still think the time mechanic was not handled very well at all. What do you got? Nice. He's at like half. I'm doing good. This is a very long fight, isn't it? Come on. Okay, we traded blows. That's acceptable. Ah, darn it. No time now. Ah. Okay, I need to use the beef. This is where all my healing items can be used now, for sure, though. Yeah, I guess the only difference is they want you to use the sun card to make vampire enemies uh, weaker, but that doesn't really matter much. Damn it, wasted a good chance to hit him. What do you think about this fight, chat? Does this look does this look fun or annoying? A little bit of mix of both, but I'm getting into the rhythm. I think like I kind of have it down. I just have to keep being patient. Both. Annoying. <laughs> yes. Maybe he has a bit much health for this. Yeah. Oh, he was immune during that frame. Okay. Ooh. Wait, no, I did damage that time. It's good. Hmm. It looks kind of janky with the hitboxes. Sometimes, yeah. Hitting his head is weird. Ah, darn it. At least I'm, I can more easily prepare for this. Like, he hasn't been able to grab me once. I have to be very careless to let that happen now, I feel. You know what I should do? I should use a heal, because I think one attack can actually kill me from this range. Okay. Okay. Nice. I got it before it hit me. I don't know how. Ah, oh, darn it. Like, I clearly have it figured out now. I just gotta stay patient. This fight is taking longer than the previous level. Oh, nice. I still hit him. Ooh, got him again. I feel like this boss needed a boss view for the camera. The battle view is kind of getting stuck on the pillars sometimes. Yeah, okay. Okay, I hit the fire, but not him. Ooh, duck through that fire like a champ. Ah. When he's getting ready to do the little burst, he just becomes invincible for a moment. It's really weird. Nice. One or two more hits. Oh, I got him. I did it. Oh! Phase two. Let's see. Uh. Uh. Ha. Ha. Ah. Ha. 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 So you thought you had won? To save the world is not so simple. Miserable creature, how dare you oppose my evil might. Darkness will rule. Die, weak fool. Oh, he's throwing some rhymes at me. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, no, he's transforming. Or not? No. Looks like he just died. Um, I 
hope I get a chance to save if there's something after this. Still in cutscene mode. It's rumbling all right. Hang on, I think I can turn the audio back up a bit. Boopity boopity boo. We are winning just fine. Yes, it's rumbling. You should get out of here, Reinhardt. You did your job. No, no, no. Save. Save the game. No, no, no. He's not going to save the game. I hope I can save with that white crystal at the bottom. Mm. Please don't collapse stairs. Please don't collapse. Please don't collapse. I really don't want to die and do that again. Oh, <laughs> please save. What are you doing? What's going on? Hi. Clearly I should not have helped you. Elevator there. Oh no. No, no, I really need- I really have to do it all in one go, don't I? <laughs> oh no! No! They won't let me save! What evil is this? It surprises- surpasses even the foul aura of Dracula. Malice, what are you? Dot 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 dot. You have destroyed my servant. I did not expect such power. Enough. Now you face the Dark Lord himself. What? Not Dracula? You, the Dark Lord? Oh no. Oh boy. Oh dear. Now he's suddenly older. Imbecile, you thought you could defeat me? I waited only to regain my full power. Now I will crush you. I, Dracula Vlad Tepes. Slaves, welcome the return of your master. You have killed my servant, the guardian of my sleeping spirit. Now, after 100 years, I return in the body of this child. I never dreamed it would last so long. Ah, oh, the wasted years. I live again. Miserable worm. Your rightful lord has returned. I will wrap the world in darkness and crush all to my will. On your knees before the might of Dracula. Oppose me and die. Are you done? Oh, here we go. No boss view, still? Oh, great. Fantastic. Where's he at? Ah, darn it. Okay. Figure this out. Oh, seriously? Do I gotta duck under those? Do I have enough health items for this? I'm not sure I do. Chat, this might... You might have to settle in for a three-hour stream. <laughs> nice! I figured it out, but I didn't hit him. Darn it. Can't dodge at that range. 
Oh, hang on. I hit him. Looks like I have to hit the head like before. Darn it. The slide went too, uh, too low there. Or too long, I should say. Darn it. I might just have to trade blows. I got six roast beef. I don't suppose what well, is sunlight right now. I don't know if daytime or nighttime has any effect on them. Darn it. Maybe I gotta attack those. I don't know if the sub weapon has any deal on it. No, it looks like I have to be jumping or the whip won't even reach his head. But unlike the other one... Okay, if I'm right at Adam, his attack can't reach me anymore. That's good. So I can just do this. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, unless he does that burst attack. Hang on. Oh. Okay, so he does it backwards. First he does the high one, then the low one. So it's safe to just always duck against him. No, 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 no! Okay, that's lame. That's incredibly lame. I'm just gonna say, that was the lamest thing I've ever seen. Cool, let's do it again. Yeah, let's go again. Sword ain't gonna do crap in this fight, like at all. Oh, my whip just missed him, cool. He's doing it again. I'm not sure I can even reach that there. Hang on, what if I just stand up here? I can't even whip up here, actually. I'm not sure he can hit me here. Oh, yeah, okay, he can pull me out of that. Cool, I hit him during the invincible part. That's nice. <sighs> this is great. Camera, please focus on the boss. There's no reason to focus on anything else in this fight. Yet it insists on getting stuck on the pillar. There's a mode specifically called Boss View for bosses, and it just doesn't use it here. Ah. Darn it. We're gonna have to settle in. No, I couldn't get him there. I don't think I can get a second hit here. I don't get this camera view in um, the other, the actual Dracula fight, though. It's still the same three that I can swap to in that point. That one's relatively safe to hit him. Ah, that one not so much. Sometimes I can hit him before the fire extends all the way, but... I gotta stop myself from being impatient. It's easy to instantly want this part over with so I can get back to the real fight. Oh, great. Especially when he does this long attack that I, I literally cannot hit him during this at all. It's not safe. Oh, cool. I hit him during the invincible part. That's great. Okay, I'm getting impatient again. I need to calm down. Please focus on the boss. Camera just does not want to focus on the boss. OK, 
Okay, if I jump like that, I can hit him. Nice. Oh, boy. Making the fake boss have twice the HP of the real one sure was a decision. Does he have actually twice as much HP? Because I barely got a hit on the on him last time. I was just getting his pattern down, and then I died because I slipped off. Whatever. I'll trade that. Damn it. Yeah, let's run. Let's go have fun. This one's a freaking sponge. Yeah, he is, ain't he? Just barely got that because I jumped a bit to the side as well. Damn it. Well, time for some more roast beef. Three health. Got him. Nearly around. He's about half, yeah. Damn it. Both have the same amount of HP. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. I keep, I'm saying it already, but I need to say it for real. Let's be patient. Let's go. Got him. That's less than half now, it looks like. Damn it. Okay, I messed that up. No, I can't get away with it at all. The holy water just doesn't reach him. A few more. Or more than a few, honestly. If he does this, it's just a few seconds lost. I can't do anything except accept that. Oh! Okay, maybe I should farm the, the fireballs. I might- this might actually help a lot for both forms, or both bosses, I should say. <gasps> but that does way more! That does way more! Hold up. Okay, we got this. We have a plan. Uh, plan is to stay away during this part, though. The bad ending boss has more HP than either of them. Oh, fantastic. Ah, damn it. One of those fireballs dropped uh, chicken last time as well, too. Okay, dude, that's like, what, the third time in a row? Stop it. <laughs> Getting the whip power up is good, but every time you die or reload your save, you, um, automatically lose your whip power-ups. Oh, here we go. No! No, 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 no. <laughs> Whatever. And there's vampirism. Let's use purifying. At least I got a bunch of these. Just use the roast beef. I believe. Whip is at full power now. <sighs> you see that chunky damage? We got this. We can do this now. We have a strat. Even if I do die again, I'm not afraid. Well, maybe I am a little bit afraid, but... Still. And I got extra heals now, too. <sighs> Bro, he's dead. See that? Cutscene freaked out there. Let's go. Just run, run, run. So if I die, we're just gonna farm the fireballs. Cause, yeah, the, it's, I, I didn't realize how consistent the drops would be for that. It seems very intentional, but I wasn't really getting them before. I got one random piece of chicken and that was it. Normally the power-ups are a rare drop on like most enemy types too. Thank goodness you can skip cutscenes. There's at least one saving grace in this game. Okay. You ready? Attempt number two, and this time I do way more damage. 
And I have more heal heals to use this time, too. What do you got? Okay, I missed that. I can't afford to risk sliding by mistake. Okay, whatever. Might be just worth it the trade blows. Damn it. Okay, look at that chunk of damage I just did to him. It looks like he healed some of it, though. Okay. It will not even register the hit unless I'm, like, jumping when I do it. Ah, uh, that didn't count. Okay. Let's focus. We're just gonna focus. Focusing is good for us. Focusing makes us a smart woman. Ah, that didn't count. I must have hit the projectile, or maybe he has, like, eye frames on some of that. No! Damn it! That's not what I meant to input. Well, I got hit now. No! I hit, like, his back. You see that crap? The whip just, like, didn't go for his head. Nice! Ooh, three hits on that. That's amazing. I can't believe I didn't get hit. Come on. Come on. Bro, I get it. I killed him. That was so clean. All thanks to the whip power up. <laughs> he just died. Hey, it's the kid again. Yeah, hey, where am I? What has happened to me? You cannot deceive me. Oh no, not Vincent. Ah! Ha! Your appearance does not fool me. Do you still not understand? This child is really Dracula. Ha! Trying to stop me, would you? Miserable human scum. How long do you think you can oppose me? Very well. Prepare to cower before the true shape of- Please- No, no, it's not going on still. No, no, we're done! We're done! No, we're done! <laughs> we're done, right? <laughs> The bad ending is you fall for it and you head home here, okay. So the true ending is the continuation right here. No, we're done. We're done. We're done right now. <laughs> Why do I gotta do a third fight now? No. Please tell me I at least can't fall off. Here we go. Remember when I was like, wow, I'll beat this quickly. When I beat the stage in 15 minutes. <laughs> I've been trying the final fight for like 45 now. <laughs> Oh, 
I got what power up. Bro, he's dying quickly. Hang on, I can do this. Just be healed. Hey, boss view is back. It is. I am taking no chances. I don't know if he'll just do like 90% damage with one attack. Will he die quickly? Is that it? Did I do it? <laughs> oh. It's because I had the whip power up. Did I cheese it by mistake? I'd spent a full day trying to beat this. Oh, so I did just cheese it. <laughs> We're done for real, thank god. It's because I had the whip power-ups, it has to be. Like, that does way more damage for sure. That's definitely the strat. Farm the power-ups from the fireball drops in the first fight. I just, like, ran up to him and just started whipping and it was working. So I saw no reason to stop. I did it. I beat Castlevania 64. Well, half of it. With Reinhardt. <laughs> Farming for the power-ups makes this way more bearable, for sure. I tried to do this tactful and careful, and you just went unga bunga and won. Yes, I did. <laughs> so anyway, I just started whipping. <laughs> I don't think it matters anymore. I, I'm already on the true ending. I don't think it's possible for me to get onto the bad ending because it already passed that point. Are you done dying yet? It's been a few minutes. <laughs> He's going. destroyed. I can see the crust in that skybox there. Part where the texture warps. Or ends, I should say. Yeah, we won't use cards with Carrie. We'll try and get the true ending with her as well. I assume the conditions are still the same. Just get to the end. Don't spend too much money. And, um... Uh, don't take too many days. Don't use the sun and moon doors, I suppose, as well. Cash one should be pretty easy. I felt like I spent too much money as it was. So, and apparently it wasn't enough. I just need to buy a bunch of, like, healing items. The other stuff is kind of useless. The enemies drop it well enough. Tell me. Will his struggle against Dracula never end? What's that? What's going on? Oh. The rose. Red polygons. Have I heard this track before? It sounds like a remix of something. The rose is... Oh, don't tell me the girl's gonna come back. <laughs> yeah. And with the power of love and friendship, we've returned the fair maiden back from the dead. Reinhardt. Heck yeah. That castle's destroyed now. Now we can be together, after having so little chemistry. When desire rules people's hearts, evil arises and Dracula can return. The fight between Dracula and humanity is endless. I know no way to escape this struggle against evil. 
Yes, that is the fate of humanity. They have as much chemistry as Nin Ten and Anna, <laughs> yeah, but we have faith in each other. And we have love. That gives me hope, and the strength to fight against despair. As long as we have hope, evil can never defeat me. Reinhardt. Come, let's go home. Your family will be waiting for you. Congratulations, manly man. You saved the day, and your re reward is one GF. Just like all the stories promised. <laughs> done, done. They've panned to them standing on the cliff like three times now. I think we get it. <laughs> Done, done. And credits. Hey, there it is. Can I skip these? No, I can't. Okay, we can enjoy the credits. Because why not? These people worked hard on it. And Konami forced them to um, work even harder and release it unfinished. <laughs> that was... That was pretty rough at the end, wasn't it? I'd say that, like, yeah, this game is really strange in that, like... It goes from, like, really weird sections to really frustrating sections, just back and forth between those two. It, like, for a good while, at like, the, for the first half of the game, it kind of felt like, um... It kind of felt like they didn't even know what game they wanted it to be. Like, the first level, you know, you're whipping endless skeletons popping out of nowhere. Then, like, uh, all of a sudden you're in, like, a mansion and it tries to be, like, a, a horror adventure game, but it, it doesn't because it's so linear and it has that weird 3 a.m. requirement. And then you get to, like, the weird crusty stuff, like the magical nitro and trying to carry it through those, like, thin bridges. Man. It really did kind of, like... <laughs> you could definitely tell that they wanted to do more with it. We will see, though, when I eventually play Legacy of Darkness, like, that version of the game, you know, it's a pr it's meant to be a prequel released after this, and um, it apparently refines a lot, doesn't it? It changes up the layout of some levels. Like, you can unlock Reinhardt and Carry in it, but apparently it's just a very different experience to play the game with them there. Let me see here. Uh... On the Rhine side, the sewer platforms, or that uh, the nitro part was a pace killer. Yeah, that part's a bit weird. It also can't, like, it was really weird with the pacing with, like, boss fights, because sometimes there'll just be no boss fights forever, and then it's like, hey, what if we give you boss fights back to back? And that cursed guy, who was that again? I don't even remember. Composer, and all these people. The voice actor was this thing. Hey, Andrew Hankinson. Bianca Allen. Harold Geard as Malice. And narration. Hey, Richter himself, right? KME staff. Look at that. Dual Tower was very weird, yeah. Studio U. Heck yeah. Um... Dual Tower didn't have a save point in it. It had one at the start of the level after it, and at the end of the level before it. It was very rough. The thing... I didn't even mind the boss battle parts of it, because, like, I learned I could easily cheese that with Holy Water. If you throw it right. The problem was, there's one jump that you could just barely make, and it was so rough that... Uh, I had to, like, check the previous day's footage to be like, how the hell did I reach that? And apparently I just got stupid lucky. Uh, it's some of the jumps are really rough for sure, yeah. Some enemies they definitely could have used a bit more. Like, I noticed there was a couple enemies that showed up like once or twice. It was also weird how some of the vampires had like full introduction cutscenes, and then that werewolf at the start is just running at you out of nowhere. Do I like unlock anything by doing this? Let me see here, Finn. The Villa Hedge Maze? That part was pretty cool, but it was definitely a bit janky. Overwrite clear data. Yes, sure. Data saved. 
Now, if I were to play as Carrie, do I do a fresh save altogether, or do I just do it on over, on the clear data, because I get something for doing both characters in the one save? Not quite sure. That violin didn't come into play at all, did it? Yeah, it still says Reinhardt, so it's a new game on normal. Okay, then. This is where we're going to go ahead and end Castlevania 64 for now, though. Maybe next week when I have time, I'll start the carry playthrough. Um, there's some sections I'm definitely not looking forward to playing again, but... <laughs> but I think we can do a much faster time than with Reinhardt. Apparently, Carrie's attacks are much, e much easier to use for enemies than Reinhardt, too, so maybe... Maybe, depending on how things go. But if you're watching on YouTube, I hope this was comfy. A lot of people seem to be seeing this game for the first time, so I hope it was fun. Have a good night. Bye-bye.